Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Shook After Dark for our very special Sunday stream. I'm back. I'm sorry I missed you guys last week. I was actually very sick. And then my mom actually got sick as well. I ended up just taking a little bit of a break from YouTube, getting away. We'll talk more about it. We'll talk more about it. I have a new diagnosis as well that I can maybe share with you guys. It's not like super serious, but... Maybe we can talk about that. We'll also get into Foodie's bedbound era, of course, and Hungry Fat Chick. We'll take a look at her as well. Maybe do a little gossip on Glitter and Lasers. I want to take a look at ALR's TikTok because I just watched, I don't know if you guys watched the new Cinnamon Toast Ken, but that just put everything into perspective for me because they went through everything that Amber has done wrong since day one. And it made me really excited to what's next for her, even though we don't have anything. There is nothing. She's given us nothing. But we can take a look at her TikTok and speculate. I'm sure we'll get there. We'll get there for sure. But let me go and say hi to everyone that is arriving here in the side chat. How are you guys doing? Hello. It's ready. Do you guys want a soundbite? Should we get a welcome? Am I mysterious? Welcome! The vibes are giving mysterious. Oh yeah, so I chopped off like all my hair as well. We were gone. We have no hair. What was I doing? Nothing, guys. Like barely anything. I was sick as a dog. And then my mom was sick. And I was taking her around and I got her ginger ale and pills and blah, blah, blah. I just like didn't feel like. And then I just decided to take a break. Like I was going to post on Friday and I was going to post on sat Saturday. But I was like, let's just come back on Sunday. It'll be like our triumphant return. We'll get back into the groove of things. I have so many like ideas. We're, we're back. Like we're back. So this week I'm going to be posting. I'm not like doing nothing <laughs> and I don't want to be like just an Amberlynn reaction channel. That is not my intention, but I've been like so down in the dumps lately that that's like all I could muster to be honest with you, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Like I have so many ideas, but like, I don't want to be just like just ALR reactions. Like that's not what I want to be, but that's all we've been doing. That's all you've been doing, girl. That's all you've been doing. So I know. Call me out because I'm calling myself out. Kelsey, thank you for being a member for 16 months. Welcome back. Been waiting all week for this. Thank you, Kelsey. Welcome. 16 months. Is, is that the longest membership? I'm not sure. Not totally sure. V, thank you for being a member for three months. Alex, we made it through our first uh, trimester. Yay. Oh my gosh, the three months. First trimester. Welcome, V. <laughs> It's our first trimester. That's an interesting way of putting it. I keep looking to the side. I'm like, I'm young, dumb honey bun looking at the viewfinder. That's what's over there, guys. It's not Kyle. Although it could be. Could be Kyle. No, he lives inside. He lives deep inside. <laughs> Amber is hiding. She wants to be wanted. So narc of her. I know. Did you guys watch? Okay, so I just talked about it, but you guys are coming in. Cinnamon Toast Ken. So his girlfriend basically walked him through every single bad thing that Amber Lynn has done since YouTube on day one. Maybe we should. I don't know if that'd be fun to react to or not. I already watched it, but like it made me excited as to what she's going to do next, because it was crazy. Like putting all of that in perspective, every bad thing that she's ever done. I was like, wow, it's really bad. Like you, we tend to kind of forget because we're focused on what's happening right now. And like you forget about shrimp gate, you forget about like her moving wifey in while Becky was still there. Um, the laundromat pictures leaked. No, I haven't seen them. I've been so Someone saw her at the laundromat. Oh, so that's why that person had laundromat. Oh, so I asked you guys for title recommendations and someone was like laundromat. And I was like, what? Why? <laughs> so I guess she's not lying when she says her 
wait, but I thought she was just, why would she go to the laundromat when she can just go to the next apartment over? I'm confused. It's me, Jojo. Thank you for being a member for 16 months. He's back. Hope you're feeling better. Love you. Thank you, Jojo. I've been feeling better for like the past four days. Like I wasn't my best in the most recent video. I was not my best, but I was like almost there. Like I just, where is that? Oh, it's in there. Okay. This is my lucky charm, guys. I like almost carry this everywhere. It's one of those voodoo thingies, but it's not voodoo. Like it's not dark magic. It's not like that energy. It's definitely not like devil energy because like, you know me, I do not like I'm not a practicing Christian, but do not hit me with that devil shit either because I'm not trying to get involved in the dark side just because I'm not a practicing Christian does not mean that I am wanting to get involved in that dark sided stuff, you know, but I do like me a good incense, you know what I mean? <laughs> and tarot cards and voodoo keychains. Okay. Okay. Cam, thank you for gifting five memberships. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Hey, Jordy, welcome. So Jordy said that um, Gabby Hanna, I don't know if he talked about this with his audience, but he posted it on Twitter. Gabby Hanna is living in Pennsylvania. Yeah. And she's doing a, what is she doing? A workout class? Gabby Hanna is working at the YMCA, the YMCA, bitch, and she's doing a class. And I guess anybody can just go. So I'm like, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Um, it's kind of near Young. She lives near Youngstown, Ohio, if you guys know where that is. But she lives in PA. So like it's not Ohio, but that's like on the border. If you know, you know. TX Voodoo, thank you for being a member for three months. Glad you're feeling better. Thank you, TX. We good, we good. Best Celeste, eggs, happy Sunday, of course. I'm going to assume that means you want an eggs. But I'm kind of like, where to go? Here it is. Eggs, eggs. Thank you, Best. And Lynn, thank you for the popcorn. Always have that popcorn ready. She's not dark sided. No, not Ohio. Yeah, like really close to Ohio. I was even having this conversation. So my cousin, my cousin lives in Pittsburgh <clears throat> because she's going to school there. And I was with my family today. So we were talking about how like PA, it's so much different, like on the east. Cause like we're kind of like East coasters over here, but like when you're, you're in Pittsburgh, it's like Ohio, basically like almost Midwest vibes. If you get the drift, like you'll see people with Confederate flags and it's like, you're in PA girl. That's the Pittsburgh vibe. Evil Debbie. Thank you for the super. You, you ship Alex and Jordy couple goals, girl. What are you trying to stir up some trouble over here? Thank you. Evil Debbie. Marvin, thank you for being a member for 16 months. Prettiest boy on YouTube. Pretty boy. <laughs> thank you, Marvin. I love seeing you around here. I feel like it's been a while. But anyways, I told you guys about that like weird vape shop. Was it a vape shop or what is it? Like it was like a supplement shop. This girl was like, oh, my God, you're like so beautiful. And I felt like I was so ugly. That I, maybe she was trolling me. I don't know. I feel like she was trolling me, honestly. The conf yeah, true mud flap, true. There's just like those types of people. Speaking of, no, we're not going to get into that. If you know, you know. Um. Long time no see. Haven't caught a live of yours. Welcome, Emily. How are you doing? The ALR hand. Oh, did you guys see my... Yes, yes. We are doing reactions. Of course, of course. We're just... We just started. We just started. The Ariana Grande hand. ALR did it first. Yes. And... Say that 
with your chest. And what do you guys think of that whole drama? I like wasn't even, I like didn't, I wasn't going to like listen to yes and and like love it. But then they kept playing it over and over and over again. So I ended up liking it in the end. Eminem is at the Detroit Lions game. Really? Yes. Okay. Okay. I've seen a lot of Eminem like pop up on shorts. Is he like coming back or something? Are they like getting ready? Although I do watch a lot of like 2000s nostalgia. Her song is so kids bop, you think? Taylor versus Eminem. Yeah, wait, who's going to do the Super Bowl? Did they announce that yet? Isn't that like soon? Isn't it going to be like the Ravens or something? Like that's unusual, right? Nothing really great ever comes out of Baltimore. No offense. I mean, it's one of the closest cities to me, so I feel like I can say that. Stanley moment. Stanley girlies rise up. Why is there like... Why are Stanleys such a thing now? Like, I feel almost uncomfortable. Oh, it is Usher and Nelly and Reba. Reba and Nelly and Usher? That's interesting. <laughs> Amber Lynn's doing it. Oh, the Ravens lost. Did they? Okay, because I was just, so that just happened. Did that just happen? Because I was watching someone like yesterday and they were like, go Ravens. <laughs> I, yeah. Anyways, so as I was saying, it is unexpected though. I do remember a lot of like Eagle Super Bowls though. Yeah, Usher coming back, like Usher. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about the Stanley Reba's National Anthem. Okay. Is she going to sing red, white, blue in the sky, summer's in the air, and heaven's in your eyes? <laughs> I'm your national anthem. Or is she going to sing the Star Spangled Banner? Just wondering. <laughs> so, Eddie, Stanley's. We we're going to talk about Stanley's. Have you guys seen like this whole like weird obsession? So I got my Stanley like three months ago. It's been a while. It's been a while. It was already like known and cool. Like my cousin had one. She's like 25. So she like knows the cool stuff, right? Actually, she always says that I know the cool stuff more than she does. But she had the cup first. So I was like, let me get a Stanley. So I did. And I kind of want a second one. Like when they say, you see these girls that have like one, two, three, four, ten Stanleys. I can understand why. Because I kind of want another one. But uh, that's just because I wish I had the bigger one. Like this is the small one. I know it's like huge, but this is a small one. I was just thinking yesterday, like if somebody ever breaks in, I'm going to hide behind my door. And then clock them with the Stanley at the back of the head. They'll be out cold. They will be out cold. And then I could just call the police. <laughs> That's how we do it. Don't mess with Stanleys. You think it sucks? You know, the one thing about the Stanley, though, is <clears throat> if it topples over, like, it spills. So... But you can get like an attachment or something that makes it so it doesn't spill. Yeah, but I haven't gotten it yet. I have spilled it a couple times, but likely, luckily, it's just water. So I, I don't care. You know, you just like leave it. <laughs> just leave it. Well, I spilled it on my carpet, but you just have to like put a towel. It's just water. It's just water. Some woman stole like 2,500 worth of Stanley. I heard that. So how, how, how do you steal $2,500 worth of Stanley's? Like you have to have like a, you have to have Santa's bag. Like, you know, Santa with the bag. How do you do that? Like she shoved it in her pants. I don't get it. I don't understand the logistics of that. Your team Stanley. Yes. 
I just feel like I drink more water now that I have my Stanley. But then again, do you guys think in like a couple of months, there's going to be another cup and people will say like, this is the best cup. That's what I feel like. Hello from Estonia. Welcome. Didn't they find lead? Did they? Inside job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if they stole that many Stanleys, like it had to be an inside job, folks. An inside job. Let me make sure that I have the right. Okay. The right thumbnail. All right, guys. So we actually have a sponsorship for the live stream that I want to get into before the reactions. I'm actually wearing the shirt right now. So here's my shirt. Let me show you guys my shirt. It says in my Delulu era. Isn't that cute? So I actually collabed with like another YouTuber. Well, we didn't collab. Like I told her like, Let's do an In My Delulu shirt because she has merch. So she was like, yeah, sure. So she has In My Delulu era sweatshirts. And you can also get In My Delulu era on like a sticker or whatever. And then there's bags as well. This one says Girl World is my therapy. I was thinking like you can put a shit ton of snacks in here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put snacks in there and I'm going to take it to like the movie theater. <laughs> All my snacks and shit. And then this one is kind of like, it makes sense for the time because Mean Girls just came out, but this is Mean Girls. So you can get that one as well, sweatshirt. And then also, this one says, Girl World is my guilty pleasure. So this one, the sweater, I think is like the cutest. We're Delulu. I think ALR should get one for sure. So if you want a Delulu sweatshirt, sweatshirt or anything, check out. There is some links down below and check out Empress2E, her YouTube channel and Twitter down below. All right, guys. Mean girls. So that is the merch. There's like a ton. There's a ton of different styles. Like I said, the Delulu era. This is the one like I told her um, or I asked her, can we do in my Delulu era? And she was like, I got you. I got you. So she did this one for me. But it's up on the shop if you guys want one. All right. Mean Girls. Has anyone seen the new Mean Girls? Because I really want to see it. Collab is with um, Empress 2E and all the links are down below, girl. Wish me a happy early birthday. Happy early birthday to Unicorn Blow. And welcome, Empress. How are you doing? Big? Are you calling me big? Um, you need one that says I survived CPAP rescue. I'm sure she could do that. <laughs> Is she Nia from Dance Moms is in Mean Girls? It's a musical UG. You don't like musicals? You'd rather we rewatch the OG. Well, it's never a bad time to watch the OG. Never a bad time. I think I've seen that movie like a hundred times. You know, and a lot of it, I, it was like 4 a.m., I was drunk. Do you guys ever get that like sudden urge if you're drinking all night long to watch a classic movie at like four o'clock in the morning? For me, it's always Mean Girls or Scream or something like that. Ooh, but guys, I just watched The Hunt. Has anyone seen that? The Hunt. It was so good. I didn't know because it came out in 2020. And I was going to watch it because of Emma Roberts, but she was only in it for 10 minutes. No, like five minutes. Five minutes. I thought that was so good. <laughs> so dark humor. It's free on YouTube, is it? Well, for me, I like signed in to my mom's Peacock. It's on there too. It's on Peacock as well. 
You're not a fan of how they casted Katie. You love the final girl. Yes, the final girl. Yeah, she is like chef's kiss in that. Um, salt burn. Yeah, that's next on my list. I might even watch that tonight. So I have a list of movies that I want to watch right here. So the list is Ready or Not, The Final Girls, and Saltburn. That's my list right now. New American Horror Story. I stopped watching it. Did anyone finish that? Like, do you guys think you should finish watching? Is it worth it to finish watching American Horror Story? Because I quit. <laughs> like after episode two. Messy Mikey. Let me get some of these super chats. Messy Mikey, thank you for the super. Everyone have their Pillow Mountains fluffed? Yes, fluff your Pillow Mountains, guys. And meh, did you see Nikki geeking on Twitter? Thank you, meh. Um, are you talking about the supposed Megan the Stallion dish track or something? So there was, you guys follow Pop Base or, yeah, Pop Base. They posted tonight Nicki Minaj's single dish track on Megan the Stallion drops. And then Nicki quoted it and she said, no, 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 hold up, hold up. It's not a dish track. But it's called Bigfoot. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not sure what it's going to be. And Momo, welcome to Sugars. Welcome. Already, eh? Already, oh. Do you guys want to start? Um, it's murder on the dance floor. And you better not kill the groove. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nikki's ruining her career. Oh, no. Megan ate Nikki up. I don't know what, what happened. Why are they fighting? I thought they were like good. I thought they were good. Or no, like, is Nikki mad? Nikki never liked Megan because she collabed with Cardi B. Is that what it is? Instead of her? Something like that. I I don't know what's going on, though. I like them both. Or at least their music. Nikki's behavior has been questionable. <laughs> okay, should we look at Amber's TikTok? I did, she, I did see that she posted a TikTok for our enjoyment. And I feel like that would be like the most interesting. It's murder on the dance floor. And you better not kill the groove. She hated Meganson's WAP. Right. So is that what it was? Shoot. Let me. Uh, what is her TikTok? The Amberlynn Reed. I should have had this up. The Amberlynn Raya. They're all questionable. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> the Amberlynn Reed. Rarity Cat. Oh, no. It's Rarity Cat. Okay, girl. With the constant changes. Chantal's kicked pork apron. Thank you for the super chat. Super sticker. <laughs> um... What is going on? Um, her kicked pork pork apron. What is that? Is an apron like below your stomach, like your apron? I've heard. Have you guys ever heard that before? So I'm. Let's do a biology lesson. Like this is your apron. If this, like, if my stomach dragged down over top of my privates, that would be like an apron, right? Is that how that works? <laughs> Something like that. That's an apron, folks. I think. I'm not a doctor, though. So I can't say for sure. It is? Oh, goody. I paid attention in biology. You have like a... You know what's interesting? Some people are like so big that even if they're naked, you can't see anything. So it's like... You know, 
All right, so I'm going to have to turn the volume off on the TikToks just because y'all know how Amber is with the copyright music. Oh, wait, I thought she posted today. Did she or did she not? Oh, you know, TikTok is annoying with their notifications because they literally like they literally just they'll give you a notification. It's like she posted 22 hours ago. I got this notification an hour ago. I thought it was something new, but I haven't seen this one. It's Trisha Paytas lip sync so we can listen to it. What do you guys think she's doing? It looks buzzbally. Kidnapped a bunch of times where it's just like you wake up in like a truck and the truck's moving and stuff like that. Yeah. Trisha? Yeah. Pause? <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, I got kidnapped. Well, I guess I don't know if it's kidnapping if you're over 18, but I was 19. So. I think <laughs> yeah, I've been kidnapped a bunch of times. So this is the caption is casually unlocking new lore for my friends, which basically is like a lie. And this is a soundbite from Trisha Paytas's appearance on Call Her Daddy. Let's play it one more time. I think it's all bullshit. What do you guys think in regards to Trisha Paytas? Amber looks like she's a buzzball like deep at least. Like a truck and the truck's moving and stuff like Wait. that. Yeah. Trisha? Yeah. Pause? <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah, I got kidnapped. Well, I guess, I don't know if it's kidnapping if you're over 18, but I was 19. I so. think <laughs> yeah, I've been kidnapped a bunch of times where it's just all right, girl. All right. Um, I think that Trisha, it's hard to believe anything that she says. I don't know if you guys saw her call her daddy. I didn't. I just saw this uh, clip on shorts, on YouTube shorts. But it's hard to believe anything that Trisha says, especially when she's like, I'm, um, I've been kidnapped, you know, like, really, have you? <laughs> it's hard to believe Trisha Paytas. In any situation. The green feces in Chantal's throat. Thank you for the super rip Scatman and couples channel. Mm -mm -mm. We lost two channels, guys. I didn't think about it like that. We lost his channel, which nobody cares. I mean, <laughs> let's be for real. Nobody cares about his gaming channel going the way of the birds. But... He was going to start doing reactions. He was already talking about Gorlick. You know what's interesting is he was talking about Gorlick. This is Salah I'm talking about. He was making videos about Gorlick. He made a video about maybe FFG and Breezy. Was it? I don't know. Doesn't matter. But uh, I thought it was going to get interesting. But he stopped that with a quickness because what are you going to do? I mean, everyone's just going to be like, well, you like human toilets i mean there's really no arguing with that so it's a, his his reaction career is over guys his reaction career is over and the couples channel and the couples channel you want a woof woof of course you can okay and this one Tammy, Slayton, and Amber dancing. Do you think that Tammy likes Amber kind of piggybacking off of her success with this? <laughs> just kidding. She's just doing a duet with her. But I do think that Amber is jealous. She's jealous. I mean, she even talked about how she couldn't get on that show. But also... Because she wasn't big enough. She wasn't train wreck enough. She wasn't big enough. Yawn. You can't hear the woof woof. Oh, that's because I have the sound turned down. Sorry, guys. All right. I had to turn it down for the TikTok music. But anyways, I think that Amber, like, she has been casted, but she has too many demands, and so they dropped her. Or, like, she wants more money than they're willing to pay, because she makes out like a bandit, like a banshee <laughs> on her YouTube channel. So if they're not going to pay her, like, I heard that the Slaytons, 
they only get five to 10,000 an episode, which I mean, it's a lot. But when you think about it, if they only do like 10 episodes at best, that's a hundred thousand a year. That's a good salary, but it's not like a celebrity salary. It's not like rich. It's, it's less than what Amber makes, you know? So that's why Amber doesn't want to do this. Oh, so Zachary Michael said that Tammy messaged him and said that Tammy doesn't know why she duetted her when she used to talk shit on her. That's interesting because Amber likes to project that her and Tammy are like, good. Like, that the past is in the past. Interesting. So Tammy is not feeling Amber. Amber's or Tammy's not feeling Amber. It's all Amber, like trying to weasel her way in, maybe get an appearance. Did you guys know? Did you guys know that Amy's life journey was supposed to make an appearance? This was a former girl. She disappeared from the Internet. She was going to make an appearance on Thousand Pound Sisters season one, but they cut her appearance for some reason. She was friends with Amy and Tammy before the show. They should have put her on. Brianna Cooney. Any relation? Just kidding. Um, I'm off. I'm off where Trisha's wor- word is unreliable, but let's not doubt someone's claim of being kidnapped because it's a slippery slope for people to not believe victims. Thank you, Brianna, for the super chat. I just, Trisha has made, I would never doubt someone's kidnapping story, but Trisha has made so many outlandish claims. And just, if you see the clip She's laughing like it's a joke. So it's hard to believe if she's actually serious. If she sat down and was serious, I, I still don't know because it's Trisha Paytas. But, <laughs> but regardless, yeah. Thank you, um, Brianna. Angelina, thank you for being a member for 16 months. Thank you for being you, Alex. I love the sugars. Thank you, Angelina. 16 month girl. Apathetic facts community tab. They have the pics. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Trisha is a pathological liar. We'll say anything for views. Yeah, that's true. I mean, she's even claimed to be what did she claim to have? Um, disassociative identity disorder. I mean, if someone came to me and said they had that, I would believe it. I'd be like, oh my gosh, are you okay? But Trisha, everybody knew it was a lie from day one. It was a troll. All right, let's see. Keep rocking them natural color. You don't think I should dye it? Should I dye it, guys? Dye my hair, not dye it. Trisha's so vile and disgusting, just like Jeffrey. <gasps> Do you guys keep up with Jeffrey? He's like cool on TikTok or something. I don't know. What you drinking? I'm drinking the Prime. I do not support Logan Paul. I support KSI. There's my cop out. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, this was posted two hours ago by Apathetic Facts. Oh my. There's more than one. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, look, 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 look at the screen. Look at the screen. This is from Apathetic Facts Community Tab. Amber was spotted at the laundromat today, and there she is. You can see her. Who's that next to her? Is that her mom right there? It looks like that might be her mom because she would wear tie dye. I don't know why. <laughs> There's Amber. OMG. 
Why did she have to go to the laundromat? I thought that she could just go in the other apartment building. There's a video in the subreddit. Are y'all for real? Wow. Okay, let's see that then. Thank you, Brianna, for the super. True, she is a troll. You have no clue how annoying it is to... It, how annoying it is having to say Cooney with a K. <laughs> yes, it's Cooney with a K, guys. No relation, no relation. And did you see Mr. Snowflake ALR? No, the last episode, or did he dress up as ALR? <laughs> Thank you, Brianna. Thank you to whoever said apathetic facts had that post because we needed that. Looks like there's a video of her. Oh my gosh, with video. Yo, this is crazy. Who is this? So there is a video. I'm pulling it up right now. What the? Oh, you can't really see anything? Oh, but yeah, you can. I'm bringing it up. Just give me a second. You can't really see anything. See that, guys? They took a picture of her. The back of her. A video of her. Yo, our girl is like being seen. Seen but not heard, folks. Look at those shoes. What are those? What are those, guys? Are those yellow socks or are those yellow situation type deals? <laughs> situation type deals. Her mom's washer's broken. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But why wouldn't she let her mom use the other apartment? I don't know. What a mess. If Amber can use the other apartment's washing machine, why can't she use it with her mom? I don't know. I guess it just makes more sense to go to the laundromat. This is unintentionally creepy. It's a bit, it's a little creepy for sure. I mean, why did they get so close? That's where I'm like, why did you get so close? That's a little too close for me. Like, if I'm getting that close to Amber, I'm saying hi. Like, <laughs> I'm saying hi, you know. Hey, girl. How you doing? Can I get a pic for the gram? Pic for the gram. Do you think Amber would take a picture with me for the gram? Or no? Probably. She'd ask me. <laughs> She'd ask me. Right? Yeah, they were almost touching her. Did they touch her? Did they smell? Oh, my God. That's, like, too much. Pink prime blue is the best. I like this blue. She's a public figure. Yeah, I understand that. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you're in a public place. It's a public figure. You have every right to film. I just felt like that was a little too close, but like, I'm, I'm, it's not a big deal. I don't care. Um, produce, not pills. Thank you for the super chat. Super snack. Super snack. <laughs> How did she not break that chair in the laundromat? Um, it looked like one of those like really big, big, are you calling me big? We need that sound bite. What am I doing? Um, one of those big metal benches. So I think it'd be fine. Like one of those hostile architecture benches where it has like these in the middle. So no, nobody can sleep on it. Freely Ryan, thank you for the super sticker. Welcome in. Welcome in. How you doing? How you doing? 
Can I heart it? I can heart it. Okay. I thought you didn't want to be associated with her. Wait, what? Who doesn't want to be associated with her? I just said I don't want to be just an Amberlynn reaction channel, which is all I've been doing lately. I need to do more. But of course, we'll still check in on our girl. Of course, of course, of course. Um, even metal bands. Oh, phew. no, I will always like, I'm actually really interested in ALR right now, even though she's not posting at all. Like I what I really want to know what happens next. So when she posts, I will be like first with a reaction. First, first one with a reaction up. <laughs> My skin looks so healthy. You think I did a mask last night. I've been doing, um, uh, you know, I washed my face twice a day. I did mask last night. I did under eyes today before the live stream under eye mask or whatever. And what else did I do? I do um the retinol, retinol, whatever that's called. Reactive Foodies Life by Jen era. Yeah, we have like, we should get into some reactions. Jen Chapin, thank you for being a member for 16 months. Hi, Alex. Good to see you. Good to see you, Jen. Welcome. How are you doing? I also did another mask from Lush. So I did a Lush mask on Friday. And then yesterday I did a Korean mask. Um, like, um, like North Korean skincare. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, but this picture is like T T T T T right here. Our girl, she looks kind of sad. What's going on? She has to do her her laundry with her mom. Are you pregnant? You're glowing. Am I pregnant? I don't I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. There's like a really weird sound. Hold on, guys. One second. They're upstairs in my game room. Okay. <laughs> Love the haircut. Thank you. Take the Stanley for your protection. I know. That's my thing. Intruder. Intruder. Can we watch the intruder clip for old time's sake, please? Por favor. I'm telling you right now. That motherfucker back there is not real. I'm still not over that. Like, it's six months later and I'm Still not over it. Even longer than that, right? Okay, should we do Queen of WTF? I think that's the one I screenshotted for us to start with. Or let's open Foodies. Foodies Beauty. Humanized. Oh, wait, it's turned down. I was like, did I mess up my audio? Why is that not working? Can you guys hear this? I'm being Can you guys hear that? Dehumanized. Dehumanized. Did you guys hear that? P P Okie doke. Let's open up the timeline. Cause we have a lot to like catch up on. I haven't covered foodie in like 10 days. I haven't um covered foodie and like I haven't put up a video about her in forever. It feels like Ew, I took this picture, guys. 
Look at how nasty the snow looks now. It was so pretty at first. First. Yeah, the bed bound arc. Oh, okay, so there was. Okay, so Barbecue Chillin' has a bed bound compilation highlights. Should we just start there? Or should we start with the question and answer? I guess let's just start with the bed bound because that's the title of the video. I don't know. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. I'm fine. They ask you if you're fine and you say I'm not fine. <laughs> Smug as ever. Pete's miserable. I'm going to be miserable every, every single, single day. day. I'm going to be miserable every, every single, single day. day. Okay. <laughs> Did you lead test the Stanley? No. Is that for real? Foodie's mad at me? Really? I didn't even post about her. She's probably mad that I'm not talking about her. That's why she's mad. She wants me to talk about her. She wants the free promo. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. Um, yeah, barbecue chilling. We'll start there and then we'll see what happens. Fully shaved. I know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like me like this? I'm going to actually do a poll. A self-serving, selfish, selfish poll. So facial hair on me. But like just me. I know everybody likes facial hair, but just me. Okay. Do I look younger? Like a child? Just kidding. Ew. She make it close. Do some research on the Stanley. It's the bottom circle that seals everything in. Wait, they're seriously lead? So I saw like weird little pieces. Mustache only. Mudflap, should we hang out? You're not that far away, are you? There's like weird pieces of like black pieces. Can you guys see that? You can't really see it. It's very microscopic. Low Anthony, except not Christian. She's not a Christian. You like the clean shaven? You look 26, 27. That's good. My metabolic age is 31, which is not great. It's supposed to be a third of your age. Or no, two thirds of your age, a third less. You're not, you're not close. I thought you were. Meet me at the Cheesecake Factory. Like an hour. Okay, let's watch this. Foodie duty. I love how we're doing that. How long will I be streaming? I'm not sure, probably a while. Probably a while. We've learned from the Flint water crisis how dangerous lead is. Is that true? Like, now you guys make me, like, not want to drink from it ever again. How do I do it? I'm so scared now. All right. So this is from Barbecue Chillin'. They did a compilation of the Bedbound art. So that's what we're going to be looking at first. Foodie Duty Salat is a good caretaker. Bedbound Arc has arrived. Caretaker. So I haven't even seen this, guys. I haven't kept up with her, like, at all. Honestly. Um, Just research it. Okay. Uh, What was I going to say? Oh, you said come to RVA. I love RVA. So cute. So, like, hipster. I love it. Let's hang out on um, Cary Street. Yes, Cary Town. Yeah, Amanda, we did react to the laundromat pictures. 
<laughs> you have to damage the cup? Oh, okay. I haven't seen this in forever. Ooh la 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 Wolf wolf. She added the wolf wolf. Get all the tattoos in Carytown. Yes. Yeah, she's back in Kuwait. So the I almost forgot about the Canada Arc. The Canada Arc gave us the biggest scandal of the year with Salah cheating with a beezer. Like how gross and desperate. How messed up would you be if you were a YouTuber, right? And your boyfriend was messaging one of your fans using your notoriety or, in her case, <laughs> infamy to find another woman. Disgusting. But even if you're like a prim and proper, like everybody respects you, YouTuber, like how humiliating would that be? He got with your fan. That's, that's disgusting. So she really is bound to that bed now. I said on Twitter, it happens so fast. It happens so fast. One day you're running around the mall like she was. And now she's bed bound. Yeah, the sciatica is that bad. Ew, why? Like, Okay, so she has sciatica. It's taking me out. Ceiling? Does that have to do with obesity? Because, or is there like any sort of connection there? Because... The only person I know with sciatica is hungry, hungry fat chick. It's so bad right now. Okay, listen, I think it's from, I don't know if it's from the walk. I have ibuprofen, Tracy. I'm on Celebrex. <laughs> ibuprofen is Little League. It's, um... What is Celebrex? Foodie's Drain Rat. Love that name for the second time too. Thank you, Foodie's Drain Rat. Bed Bound Bath and Beyond. Is this the second time she's bed bound? Um, facial hair on me, 55 say no. Interesting, interesting. I usually like to put, I like can't grow facial hair that well. That's my problem. Obesity exacerbates it. Mmm, mmm. Skinny people get sciatica too. I know, but like, I just, the only person I knew was hungry. I'm not joking, Brooke. I'm injured. So shortly after I went for that 3K walk, I felt fine the next day. And then I think the day after, I don't know what happened. It just, I had a flare up, like, um. Of what? Her sciatica, a flare up? Really bad. Like, it, I know, like, so I did talk to a doctor about it. I did see a doctor because, well, that's kind of why I've been missing. Just like, I've been busy, but also like health problems a bit. This stupid thing. I didn't even notice she was gone. So she is actually seeing a doctor again. So I'm like, I can't ignore it anymore. I have to get like, you know, so basically I'm on bed, like, I can't irritate it because Apparently for sciatica, people are like, stretch, stretch, stretch. Apparently. Oh, she really is like on bed rest. But she wants to call it bed bound to get those clicks. I see you, girl. Us, when our our, our live stream is literally called bed bound. <laughs> Stretching. So it feels like someone shot me in the butt cheek. And it's like, you ever have like a really bad Charlie horse? And the pain is oh, so is that bad. What it is? Like, you're just like writhing in pain like a baby. It Oh, I was worried because I actually rode my exercise bike for an hour and 30 minutes. And when I got off, it was not my legs that hurt. It was not my legs. It was my ass. It hurt so bad, guys. I had to like lay there like writhing in pain for like 10 minutes until it just eventually just went away after getting off. I have like a hair in my eye and like a hair on my lip. <laughs> What's that smell? Yeah, up a lip. Trisha Bobisha, thank you for the super. Literally two days ago in her Q&A, someone specifically asked, what will she do if she became bed bound? And she smugly scoffed and said, that won't ever happen. 
<laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Trisha, because I had no idea. That's hilarious. She said the same thing about Salah. Like, he will, why would he leave for another woman when he has a Canadian queen like me? Yuck. Where is he now, girl? Tail between the legs, and he can't even come out of that gaming room. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. It doesn't go away. It's just like constant. And now it's bad to the point where it's throbbing. It's bad to the bone, baby. And my whole leg is almost numb down to my feet. I do. Oh, but see, like Tracy. Her legs are numb. The stretching Scary. makes it worse. I tried stretches before I saw a doctor. They're like, no, they put me. I'm on Celebrex twice a day. It doesn't even help that much. So like, it's like a strong NSAID. <sighs> yeah, is she just trolling? What if she's like perfectly fine? <laughs> she's perfectly fine. Right, right. Raw, raw. Randomly disappeared. That's what I'm hoping. So they, they want me to try gabapentin. Yeah, I know. And Lyrica, I looked that up too. Well, I'm going to... Yeah, girl, gabapentin, Lyrica. Why not everything? Listen to the doctor for... He says usually sciatica, like it could be a flare-up, but sometimes it goes away. So I'm going to try this for now, like a few more days of just being bed bound and bed bound. Somebody said on Twitter that she's like popping pills, but I haven't seen anything to, I haven't seen like anything that would suggest such a thing unless I missed one of her uploads. Testing because the walking may have aggra aggravated it. That's what, that's what they said. Um, but the stretches I tried made it worse. It made it flare up even worse. It's so bad. My worry is that it's due to like, like I'll have to go back to the doctor if it doesn't clear up because it could be like something like a bulge, like a back problem, like pinching the nerve. And then what if I need micro surgery and all this other BS? Like oh my God, micro back surgery. That's a big deal. She would be like out if she got back surgery and she had to just lay in the bed or like, could she even do that? Do you have to lay on your stomach? Could she even do that? Like, they probably couldn't even operate on her. She's in for a world of hurt. And as per what we have seen, I mean, she's walking a bit more, but she had an entire chicken pot pie. That cancels it out. Like, you can make healthy choices. And that would not be a bad choice if she just had, like, a regular size portion. But you just know she had that whole pot pie. Oh, my God. Yeah, I hear, yes. They might have to do steroid injections. Me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, my muscles are spasming. It's bad. Actually, speaking spasming. of estrogen, I've been looking into also, I'm going to have to just like integrate myself into more healthcare. Like I need to look into um, female health clinics here. It feels like everything, like you always female hear stories clinics. when you're younger. You better take care of yourself now because whenever you're 40. And Girl. What, what do you know? What do you know? You need to get a wheelchair. I'm not going to move for like a month. I don't know. We're <laughs> Salai and I are going to be in a bad way. I was told I can tell you he's having surgery, but I can't. I just just going to leave it at that. Oh, yeah. I heard he's having um, backside surgery. Like he has one of those. Did you guys ever get what are those called? Like polyps or something? It's like a ingrown hair on your butt crack, but it turns into like a boil almost. And then they have to lance it and like it squirts everywhere and it stinks. It stinks so bad, like garbage. San Francisco's going to the Super Bowl. All right. What about Kansas City with um Taylor Swift? Nothing too serious. He's going to be okay. Something minor. So we're both going to be in a bad way. Yeah, pill and dial cyst. That's exactly what it's called. Yep. Have you guys ever had one of those? It hurts like a I had one. <laughs> Embarrassing, but yeah, it was like in 2017. I could barely like bend down. I don't know. It just hurts so bad. But once they lance it, like it doesn't hurt at all. No more Taylor. No more Taylor. More Taylor. It's the TFL. The Taylor Swift Football League. <laughs> Sorry, but what does it mean? You're going to be in a bad way. It means she's going to just be down bad. I mean, not doing good. Oh, I still man like I can still do small things. I just force myself. It's very painful, but like for now, we're just going to be ordering for a few days. 
So really? long right now has been taking care of ordering takeout. That's for me, like, because bending is really painful. But but what about for him? Because if he has the pill and dialysis, like bending's hard for him too. Yeah, I have been using retinol. Do you guys think you can tell the retinol? Yeah, I have been like taking it very slow because I started off just like all over the face and I was red. So I've done like slower this time. <laughs> and no makeup today, guys. No makeup. I can tell. Kyle. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Like we just order. The house is not really messy. We just, I'm just like staying in bed for most of the time. But I mean, I still do some small things. No, I don't need my mom. So that's a good caretaker right now. I mean, I'm not like incompetent. I can still do some things, but yeah, Karen, I can't. This is like, I can only lay like this <laughs> with a pillow between my knees. It will February be the month of horizontal mukbangs. <laughs> yeah, probably. Is she really going to do horizontal mukbangs? Just like lying down on her side. I can't. Thank you. Um, Fuck, my contacts. <laughs> Here we go with the contacts again. Um, Hottie, Holly, Halls. What's your honest opinion on FFG? I love some Chantal slander, but I don't know how her reactions aren't considered harassment or bullying at this point. Thank you, Halls, for the super chat. Um, I'll watch FFG sometimes. I mean, sometimes she has like the exclusive tea, like the BBJ situation. And like, you got to go over there and get the tea, right? So I don't really have any problems with FFG. And I really don't want them, girl. <laughs> I see that like everybody's fighting right now. And I follow like all of these people, like everybody that's fighting, I follow them. So I see all the back and forth and all the back and forth. And I just don't want anything to do with that. Thank you, Halls, for the super... I don't have any personal problems with FFG, no. You should wear sunscreen over the retinol. I will definitely keep that in mind. Usually I have a BB cream that um, is like SPF 15. Where's my snacks? I had like a bag of chips. I don't know where it went. Bed down. Oh, you're ugly now. I'm just kidding. That's so mean. Don't be nice to people. Melly! I'm only doing it to earn a good deed. Where did I put Trust my chips? Fuck off with that. Go to the ER and tell them it's a 10 so they can give you a nerf log. I'm on the verge, yeah. Yeah, I see that. I like kind of sometimes... Oh, there it is. I have nothing else to do. RVA <laughs> meetup. Like if I'm doing dishes or... Scooping cat crap or something like that. I'll put on a stream that's drama. That I don't want the smoke. <laughs> I don't want the smoke. I definitely don't want the smoke. I got Doritos. Somebody said in the comment section, your diet is killing you. I guess because of the live streams, I always have like um, some junk food on the live streams, but I don't eat junk food all the time. My weight is actually a couple of days ago. I weighed in at 165.8. But then I weighed in today and I was back up to 166 because I haven't gone to the bathroom that way in a couple days. But we're like on the way. Shook 2.0. What is that? Four days ago now? I'm on day four of Shook 2.0. We're losing weight. Cheyenne Jasmine, new video of... Uh, Flobby at the fashion show, a new fashion show video. Really? This. You ever notice when you listen to these people, it just makes you like, what the hell are these people doing? Like, it just amazes me because those people are so mean. Like, they literally have a list of people that are on it that they're never, that they're like banning from their life and they freaking rage and they come after me for raging. They come Wait, what is she talking about? A list? Like that. I'll put on a stream that's drama that doesn't involve me. And I'm just like, why am I listening to this? You ever I love watching streams that are drama that doesn't involve me. Notice when you listen to these people, it just <laughs> makes you like, what the hell are these people doing? Like, it just amazes me because those people are so mean. Like they literally have a list of people that are on it that they're never, that they're like banned from the list. And they freaking rage. 
and they come after me for raging they come after me for being vile but they're like so disgusting and it's like i don't get it I, I, I don't know. I get in a bad mood listening to these people. I'm not sure who she's talking about. Well, if you get in a bad mood watching somebody, then don't watch them. I just kiki. I know sometimes Chantal, like, she'll go over the edge where it's like, like the BBJ situation. But most of the time, we're just chilling. We're just laughing. We're just joking around. We kiki. We have fun. But if she made me, like, mad... I probably wouldn't watch anymore. Only mad at the BBJ situation. Is that why you were so smug in your q and I'm smug because of this question. Some of them are stupid. Oh, yeah. We're going to watch the Q&A next. I don't know how to answer nicely. <laughs> you like the <laughs> hair, the short hair? Face. I've, obviously, because like of the way my hijab is on, too. Sometimes it like, you know. Yeah, exactly. FF gun. Like, they, these people come after people every day for years. The same thing like they'll come up they came after the original owl lady for like going after mentally unstable people that's what they do their whole friggin for years and years and years They're i remember original owl from way back in the day i've been like in drama communities for the longest time i would watch the do you guys know nina unrated there was like an ex nina unrated fan drama hangout i don't know <laughs> They would talk about her kind of like how we talk about Amber Lynn, right? They would talk about Nina, but this was in like 2015, like a long time ago. So I would watch that till like three o'clock in the morning. And then they started fighting with each other. I, I ate that shit up. Mentally unstable as well. And then there was like the other drama community, like with um, MFW and the bottom of YouTube and um, like original Al was in like the drama, drama community, right? With like Yaba and Sam and MFW and like some other people, Diane's channel. Do you guys know her and her like the um, St. Jude's thing, the St. Jude drama? I ate that shit up. All that drama. Not the St. Jude drama, but messy girl he's in the other room he lives here with me people actually think i would live by myself here what, what the hell why would i <laughs> i mean there's never any filters on my body so like people are like if you love your body why do you filter it what what are you talking about i look very huge in my videos if i want if i had a, if i wanted to use a filter I does she have body filters because like how do you get those i will tell you guys one thing though if you have a Samsung, you can take some really good filtered photos on the on this. And then the iPhone, like this shows every single little pore and imperfection. It's almost too good, the iPhone. But on the Samsung, yeah, you can get some good filters on there. And it looks good. Just like a little smoothing situation, so you can't see like every little pore. But um, they also have slimming filters on Samsung that you can turn it on. But I don't know about body filters. Like, where do you where do you get the body filter? <laughs> I know you can go in Facetune and like make your stomach smaller or make your butt bigger, but I've never heard of like video body filters. There's an app for it. Where? The filter makes you want to get it. The filter's good. The filter's good. <laughs> it just makes you look better, but like natural. So it doesn't look like too filtered, right? I would be sure that it would take off more weight than that if I care about that. Charles Reed, not a beezer. I don't know. I, well, I heard Amber Lynn, Taffy Gris, thank you for the super butt boils, bad hygiene, and back pain. That should be the title. <laughs> Love that for them. I personally think you could pull off some stubble. Yes, thank you, Taffy. I do like to let it grow in a little bit because people think I'm like a woman. I swear to goodness, they do. One time, this girl, so this is like way back in the day, like I was in 11th grade in high school and I was hanging out with this girl for the first time and she was a lesbian 
and she thought I was like a cute lesbian. <laughs> so she was kind of like getting close, like wanting to flirt. But then she realized that I wasn't a woman or a lesbian. But we were friends for a few years after that even. And I would still be their friend, but I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> she was like gonna sue me. Like how many uh, underage people is your man gonna have to pimp to, to get you a <gasps> like, Oh my <laughs> gosh. She was gonna sue me and then she, oh. Wow, Chantal, that was crazy. <laughs> Yo, Juju, thank you for the Sue Sue, the super. Love you. Thank you, Juju. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Why are you going to sue me? I'm in Kuwait. Like, what are you talking about? Sue me for defamation. You, that's all you do is defame me every day. And talk about me. Why do people talk about me eating spaghetti? Like, who cares? I don't know. Like, honestly, I should just be thankful, I guess. I mean, I guess I'm being kept relevant. I don't know. No support structure. Yeah, just be thankful. Like, if everybody stopped talking about her, she would have even less views than she does now. How are the views doing anyway? I want to know. Thank you, Jackie Ataki, for being a member for 10 months. Hi, late, but started Ozempic today for PCOS. Yay. Thank you, Jackie. And good luck to you on your Ozempic journey. I hope that it gives you everything that you were looking for. I kind of want Ozempic. <laughs> okay, let's look at these views. So here's the profile picture, girl. You want to talk about delusion? Look at this profile picture. It's deluded. The flirty long lashes. Thank you, um, skinny legend. Back with the DD picture. Love, you know, we love that DD picture over here. So 9K. Oh, she posted this yesterday. Okay. We'll look at that as well then. What did we miss? So the last video I covered was Iraq Road Trip. And then there was Day in the Life, Cooking a Traditional Breakfast, Slip Ups on Weight Loss Journey, hmm. Singapore Singari Seafood Mukbang, The Best Homemade Cheesy Chicken Spaghetti, 3K Steps Walking Challenge at the Boulevard in Kuwait, and then the Q&A. Thank you, Taffy, for gifting five memberships. Awesome. Congratulations to everybody who got them. Ozempic is being sued. I've heard that. Oh, yeah. You DM'd me an Ozempic hookup? <laughs> I don't know if I really want it, but... Thank you. I'm going to try. I'm going to try a little bit longer. A little bit longer. See if I can do this. I only have 10 more pounds until I'm normal BMI. Isn't that crazy? I've never been a normal BMI. Like, it's been since 2014, probably, was the last time I was a normal BMI. 10 years ago. Let's make it 10 and 10. Yes. Overweight for 10 years. Finally, normal BMI. Wow. Now I'm like super excited. I want to do it. Okay. Literally, you know, like, they're not physically here, but I have Salah. He's like a huge support, you know, like more than people even realize. So this is my life for now for a few days. Hopefully it goes away. I'm kind of panicking because like I don't want it to just stay for a long time. That's where people think you're gonna be back down. Yeah. It's oh, congratulations, Natty. Called being injured. I noticed the pain starting in Canada actually, like near out oh, when I was going home, I'm about to go home, and I thought it was just my lower back. And then on the plane, I had really bad lower back pain. Maybe it's like started then. 
I don't know if they finished the, finished the investigation. I just forgot about it. They sent me an email saying they were looking into it. I made, oh. like, one complaint about it. The weed store fiasco, because FFG went in the MJ shop, right? To see if she was there. <laughs> But she admitted, did we talk about that? So Foodie admitted that she was doing schmedibles in Canada and in Thailand. Because of course she was. Uh, they said they were investigating it. I don't know. They're not investigating shit. The way you walk looks painful. You lean back. And don't bend your knees. <laughs> Who's investigating it? The store manager? <clears throat> or the cops? She mean the cops? <laughs> not the cops. Definitely not the cops. I have very short legs. I never, ever used to bend my knees. But yeah, I know. Well, I have a very large abdomen. Really, Freya, for years? So this is just something I'm going to be suffering with, with right? Ooh. ARS. Does that happen where you have, like, flare-ups and you can barely move? Wow. I know you're watching. You've been snarky with me in a comment where I meant to do no ill will. Call me out and block me in your life. ARS. Isn't that person Muslim? And they're like backbiting and gossiping about people. Nice Muslim you are. Girl, you do the same thing. She wants to talk about being a good and bad Muslim. Girl, you're the last one to talk about that. Let's not even go there. Plus, everybody's different. Everybody has different interpretations. I was friends with a Muslim girl in college. And she hung out with like all the gays. Like she loved the gays. So just saying. FBI Frank. I can't believe FBI Frank. Like, I'm still not over that FBI Frank is fake. Like, I mean, I thought it was fake the whole time, but there was still that, like, 10% chance it could have been real, you know? So don't talk about me being a bad Muslim. Me yeah, did Salah do shmedibles in Thailand? I want to know. Well, I have something wrong with my back, so I had a guy, I think. I think it's the nerve, though, because they say, like, you know when you have nerve damage a bit? Like, something is, um, it's, like, tingling, and it's numb a bit. And, like, I have cut nerves on my finger where I had, see that? And I have no feeling there. <laughs> would you let a doctor put you in a coma for a year? If it meant you could lose 150? Yeah, actually, I would, yeah. As a coma for a year only to lose 150? That is sad, yeah. That is so sad. As long as I can, you know, make a video. That is so sad. A year? You would spend a year of your life in a coma just to lose 150 pounds? You need to lose more than that. She's what? She claims to be 366. So 200. More than 200, but <laughs> you get what I mean. About 200. Planning on going back to RVA, maybe. It's just really annoying, like, to drive there from where I live because I have to go down through D.C. Ugh. I have to find, like, a different way. Maybe if I went down, like, 81 or something, but that would take, like, five hours. I don't know. Every day about it. So someone can do an update video. Update number two. Still in a coma, bees. And watch reaction channels would find something to say about it. <laughs> they could just have her laying there in a live stream. Yeah, get the doctor's office to set up a 24-hour live stream where you're just in a coma the whole time. Good night, Annie. Thanks for coming in. Um, Not modest. Is that how you say it? No, Chantal, sorry. Uh, where is that? No, Chantal, sorry. No, Chantal, sorry. No, Chantal, sorry. No. Sorry. <laughs> Do you guys think I look like a lesbian? Like, be for real. Okay. <laughs> look at the way her tube is in her nose. Huh? Honestly, that would be so cool, but I would have to. I don't like look at the way her tube. I have a fear of that. That's why I have a fear of anesthesia and death. A lot of people fear anesthesia, a lot of people fear death. Like, losing consciousness. Is anybody, like, perfectly comfortable with death? Like, you're just like, I'm ready to go. I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just ready. 
Sam and her piggy up are copyright striking people for using their content. Oh, 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 that's so, so hilarious. That turbo, that is pathetic. They're always streaming and screaming. Oh my <laughs> god, pathetic. Where is that? Pathetic. Pathetic. <sighs> pathetic. You guys think un poquito boyish. Know you're manly. Oh yeah, I forgot I asked that. That's what everyone's saying yes, no about. A lot of people say yes. <laughs> mayday, mayday, mayday. Thank you for the super. She's only experiencing this because her stomach protrudes far as F for her height. Oh, is that what it is? So it's kind of like when you're pregnant, you can experience back pain. Or if you have extremely large breasts and you need like a reduction or something, you can get, that's why you get reductions because of the back pain. So maybe that's what she's experiencing all the time. Well, it is, right? And she's got kind of small legs, like small, small legs. Streaming and screaming. That's what all of these idiots do. And they, like, where do you have time I'm gonna to start enjoy your life with screaming each other and, and raging? With I mean, aren't children, young children, time consuming? They stream for hours, freaking out. Well, kids go to school, right? <laughs> sort of a weird question, but does intimacy feel the same after hysterectomy? Uh I know if I have kids, I'm still doing live streams. Send the brats to school. Send the brats to bed. And I can be on live. Um, no. It is different, but it can still be very good. She's talking about me streaming and screaming. But I don't scream. You know, it's not the same at all. No, of course not. <clears throat> People don't realize how important your ovaries are in like your just your whole reproductive system in certain parts of intimacy if you catch my drift yeah i wish they could have left my ovaries but that's what the problem was and then they didn't want to do they like, have intimacy if they left anything <laughs> it turning into like cancer someday so that's why so i think that yeah i'm just going to be going live from a sleeping position for content for now because <laughs> Salah roll, roll me to bed that's what must have really hurt her when salah was talking about like children <laughs> but how can i get on the bed it's very high our bed is like with um kaibala really high i have to kind of uh, roll into it she can't even get on the bed i bet you it's not even that high good night it's probably like the same height as my bed see you guys tomorrow it's just for her it is so that was foodie duty salah is a good caretaker Bedbound arc has arrived highlights from barbecue chillin so let me know what you all thought that was a very good compilation. I enjoyed it. Not the Stanley. I know. Tree Boy, welcome. I've got one just for you. Bitch, you don't have a degree. You don't have anything. <laughs> what did he say about children? I kind of forget. I think they were talking about, like, kids. Like, how he wanted kids and... um Chantal cannot provide biological children. I look airbrushed. I have a little bit of tan. I kind of like some of it is uh, off though, like faded off, but I need to redo my tan. So you can see like the line where the tan is and where it ends. And the knuckles. I have ALR knuckles. <laughs> Tree boy, thank you for the super. Nice to see you back, Alex. Thank you. Welcome. Good to see you in here. I did see you posted today, Jessica Messica slash Callie React. The crisis stream. Have you guys seen like the crisis stream? I feel like that's been talked about like kind of to death like um shrimp gate people have analyzed every little movement <laughs> am i portuguese no 
not Portuguese. Oh, I have to tell you guys about my diagnosis because I said in the beginning I have a new diagnosis. And then if I don't say it, y'all won't know. So it's not even like funny or interesting. I have like chronic dry eye. And I might take my contacts out soon because they're already starting to bother me. But y'all know if you've been watching that I've con- I have constantly con- complain about my contacts and my eyes are just so dry. Well, I finally got in. I finally got my appointment. It took like forever. And I got these um, like gel eye drops, like they're gel. So she's saying that hopefully I can like reverse it or whatever. But it's pretty dry. It's really dry. You have that, you hate it. Yeah, it sucks. Because I like wearing contacts and stuff. But I just got like the gel drops on Friday. So I'm hoping that they kind of reverse it a bit. You've seen people use fake tan as contour slash bronzer. Ooh, how do you do that? I just put it like all over my face and like the gel makes it blurry. So like what you do is you put the gel in at night and then you like sleep with it. Or you just, so what I will do is like lie down for 30 minutes with the gel Glasses are so aesthetic. I do love all my glasses too, though. Looking like a skinny queen. Would it help to just not wear contacts for a while? I mean, I've been doing that and it doesn't really change it. So we'll see. She said that like mine's not like super severe, so... Hopefully I won't need like any, any like procedures or something. Amber is hiding. I know. Where is Amber? That's actually not like the first time an eye doctor has said that to me. But the last time I thought she was just bullshitting because so I went in 2017 to an eye doctor and I was on Adderall and I was up for like 30 hours before the appointment. So I thought my eyes were just dry because I was up for 30 hours. So I just thought it was bullshit. And maybe so. Maybe it was just because of that. But that was seven years ago. Right? What are we doing? We're doing Foodie Beauty's Q&A from queen of WTF or foodie had a podcast today. What was that? I heard it was BS though. I heard it was complete BS. Let's open that up. Yeah. At the laundromat. Should I open up the laundromat picture real quick for those that haven't seen it yet? (laughs) <laughs> Let's look at it again. My bowels had a sweet relief. Okay. What the? Your friend took your te- a teacher took a nap in the sun, and her contacts melted into her corneas. Yo, I never wear my contacts to the beach because I know if I get sand with contacts, no. It's not a good idea to wear contacts to the beach. And I'm not laying in the sun for any other reason or sleeping in the sun for any other reason. There she is at the laundromat. Go, girl, go, girl, go, girl. (laughs) Love it. Get it, girl. Get it, girly. Okay. The podcast was just crapping on all the reactors. Did she talk about me? 
Oh, there it is. The beezing hour. Did I get a shout out? She's just a Sims 4 character. Does anyone have every single Sims? Because I heard that if you buy every single Sims 4, it's almost a thousand dollars. Yeah. When are they going to put out The Sims 5? EA, get on it. Be careful washing your face with contacts. Oh, yeah. I don't do that. I honestly don't wear my contacts that much. I just like to for the live streams and videos. I think I'm going to look. I don't know. I'll try to see what I can do. But hi, P She did talk about hi, me. Tasha. Cam up, foodie. Yeah, now I'm like like everyone else. I'm not going to cam up for this. She's not camming up. Oh, look, she's got a whole setup with like, here's Johnny. Here's Johnny. Yeah, <laughs> Lisa P. Member for eight months. Very important <laughs> piece. So yeah, girl, cam up, cam up. For nine months. Wow. He's taking very good care of me. He's amazing. He's so supportive. I mean, Live. Right down from just like. He's so. Okay, let's listen to that part that I need to take vitamins for I think B12 is one of them no audio on your end I think it's okay but yeah Salah is taking very good care of me he's amazing he's so supportive I mean right down from just like helping me walk helping me get dressed helping me do everything um, taking how long is this gonna last sweetheart care of the pets you know so can you explain where you got the name Maria Pondu from? How supportive was he when he was talking to another woman, girl? Back in the day. Honestly, messy girl, it just came up to right there. Marie Pondu. The Maria Pondu. Remember Krista Bezile? That was her. For those that weren't there at the time, when she was on again, off again with Natter... He had blocked her on Facebook, and so she made, she went through the trouble of making a brand new Facebook called Krista Bizayo, just so that she could contact her abuser. <laughs> Sims 2? People think all overweight people don't deserve love. I know. Yeah, let me try the Sims 2. I think that's on Mac. It's like on the Mac App Store. I know. You know what it is? Vamp Diva! It's you fat need a grabber, phobia. a long thingy that grabs things. Thank you, Vamp Diva. I used, thank you for the super chat, love. I Yes, get a grabber. I used to have one. All right, let's watch the, we'll come back to this, I guess. I don't know. Try trying two juicy cucumbers a day. Juicer from Target for dry eyes. Oh, juicing two cucumbers for dry eye. Okay, I'll try it. I've been looking up certain things I can try. But yeah. I wake up and like my eyes are red. It's not good. That's when I knew I had to go to the doctor. I thought it was because of the schmettables. <laughs> I was taking like a bunch of schmettables at night, but that doesn't sound right, right? Like it should have worn, it should wear off by by that time, right? Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I missed you guys, but I'm finally here to do the Q and A. So it's going to probably be more than one video because there's fish oil. Let me write that down. I'm going to get like a bunch of things. Do I have eczema? Yeah, I have eczema too. And I get eczema on my eyes, which is the worst eczema. Not on my eyes, but like my skin will crack like in my eye and like on the side of the eye. It's the worst. It can affect it, really. The green feces in Chantal's throat. Thank you for the super chat. 
FFG's fondue or pondu family reunion stream is coming up. <laughs> pondu family reunion stream. I'll have to check that out. Let me check out the cucumbers. I need to get like a smaller. Speaking of cucumbers, <laughs> let me not talk about that. <laughs> I need to get a smaller, like, you know. So many questions. So I'm just gonna work my way down with the ones that have the most likes. Um, I'm gonna say right now, I'm just going to lump all of these Salah questions into one answer. Um, I will not be answering that. That's, um, we're 100% keeping everything related to that private. And all I can say, he is offline because he chooses to. We're not embarrassed. He wants to be offline. He wants to do other things with his life. He just, you know, this is not it for him. He's not embarrassed, girl. He is bar embarrassed. Of course he's embarrassed. Who wouldn't be? He was outed. Um, he doesn't want to be on YouTube at all anymore. And I respect that. And it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with me controlling him. July 2nd. I What's July 2nd? I would like to continue with the couple's videos, if I'm quite honest. I would love to. It's not her controlling him. Hmm, so that's an interesting... What do you guys think? Is it... Because it could really go either way. It could be that Salah is super embarrassed to get online. Or it could be that Chantal doesn't want him on there anymore. Because she doesn't want women seeing him what do you guys think yeah he loved the camera right mud flap is it just that he's humiliated he tucked his tail and ran or does she want him off it could really go either way because she doesn't want other women looking you wish we had a discord should i make a discord i had one for like a hot minute like a few years ago like a, like 2019, a long time ago. But I always thought like maybe I shouldn't do a Discord because then like people get like there's a lot of drama and like you get dragged into that drama. I don't know. And then like people will talk about other reaction channels and and stuff and then that like causes drama. Because, I mean, I'm not going to tell you guys not to talk about other people because that's like you're right, but it just causes drama. <laughs> okay, why is Salah gone? Foodie wants him away from women or he's humiliated. Viva la Discord. You don't have a Yeti? No. No Yeti. I'm a Stanley girl. This is what we do. Talked about her new song. Yes, and. Yes. And. Um, because I don't care what people think about our relationship. I, you know, make the choices I make in my life. He doesn't want to, so it's just going to be me. So you will not be seeing Salah anymore on in videos. Why does he film you in the most unflattering ways? Listen, he doesn't think that way, and I don't think that way. Like, I'm not ashamed of my body in any angle. You know, not a coward. I'm not shy. I. Sh That's interesting because when he was talking to Kaibala... He actually called her. He said that he couldn't pick her up, but he could pick up Kybella. And that's something he looked forward to when they were going to meet up. If she had money, I wish that Kybella had money or Salah had money because then he was going to fly her out or she was going to fly herself out to Kuwait to meet him. And then what if she came home early and caught them in bed? Now that would actually be next level. Rach, thank you for the super chat.
Um, first sip in my Alex mentions 2019 drinking game. <laughs> 2019. Should we bring back um this day in 2019? Thank you, Rage. It would be a cool perk for members. Oh, yeah, you know what? We could do a members only Discord. So that way it stays like yeah. Okay. It stays more intimate. I like that idea. Ursinate, thank you for being a member for 10 months. Pondu family reunion is July 1st. Mark your calendars. Thank you, girl. Somebody said it was soon. That is not soon to me, but all righty. Show my whole body in every angle. I am who I am, and I mean, I'm not ashamed of myself. I actually tell him what angle. I am who I am. To shoot me in and what to do. I'm not like a catfish, and I don't like hold my camera high up here most of the time. Girl, you're literally the one that uses filters all the time, and even somehow body filters. I didn't even like know that video body filters were a thing. We all know that like Kim Kardashian edits her body and waistline and stuff, but on video, probably, but <laughs> foodie doing it for the YouTube. She is, she's the one that like her whole life is YouTube. Foodie's drain rat. Thank you for the super. I love how she saves the red lipstick for when she's the most delusional. Stay mad beach. Thank you, Foodie's Drain Rat. Welcome. Let's end the poll. Why is Salah gone? Foodie wants him away from women, said 49%. Wow, it's really close, guys. He's humiliated, 51%. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I'll be right back, guys. Just a second. Okay, we're back with our glasses. Aren't these cute? They're like old man glasses, but like cute old man glasses. It's so interesting. So that's what I was thinking. Like, it's so close. It could go either way. Like, he's either humiliated or she doesn't want him on at all. Hey, Angelina. Hey, Angelina. Let's end the poll. All right. To make myself look thinner because... Lions lost. Who's the Lions? The Dahmer glasses? Is that the vibe? Um, I'm just not fake <laughs> like that. So, Salah moved out. Would you pretend... I need to get, like, the blue light. I should have got the blue light filters. Yeah, I did take him out that fast. I'm good. I'm fast. And that you were still living together and continue to live in Kuwait alone whilst paying him to film your vlogs. Or would you go back to Canada? This question makes no sense to me. Why on earth would I move back here to live by myself? Like, no, I would never live here by myself. Oh, yeah. People are saying, is Salah gone? Because we never see him. Is that what it's going to take? Because Foodie hates to... Foodie hates the rumor and speculation about her relationship and her man not loving her. So maybe she will show him just because it shows he's still with me, guys. Before you throw a party at my expense, he's still with me. 
I wouldn't even be able to live in this apartment by myself. As I've said many times, I guess people just don't listen when I talk. You're believing false information because <gasps> you can't live in this apartment unless you're married. So we had to show our marriage certificate okay. to the apartment owner in order to live here. Um, we don't. It was some sort of sketchy marriage, Islamic marriage. Show it to online strangers because it's not a Not that that's sketchy. Their I'm business and we don't owe them shit. So 434 likes. Hi, foodie. Quick question. How did you manage to gain 13 pounds? It's called binging, binge eating disorder. You could probably Google it where you eat <sighs> thousands of calories. Why is she so nasty in this? Freeze at once. Um, also, the type of food I would eat, a lot of sodium would help, would make me retain a lot of fluid. I hope that answers your question. Okay, why aren't you doing reaction videos? Why did you change your mind in less than 24 hours? I did put a community post. You could probably go read it if you didn't. Why I chose to change my mind again, but this will be the last. Oh, yeah. So we missed that drama this week. She was, she said in one video that she was going to be doing reactions from now on. She didn't even do one, did she? <laughs> She's never going to do reactions because she has, she doesn't want to have to defend herself. And what is she going to say when people bring up the poo? She doesn't want that drama, that poo drama on her main channel. And that's just what it would be. Time. I'm not engaging with any drama, any people that aren't worth my time or energy, um, which is one of the reasons. But also the main reason is I tried to listen to about two minutes um, and of the material I would have to react to and I wanted to tear my eardrums out so there's no way I'm there's no money on earth worth listening to that yeah so how long is Salah grounded from the internet as long as he wants to be he doesn't want to come online um, I can't blame him the internet is no no it's it's the fact that she doesn't want the poo drama on her main channel She's reacted to FFG. She's tried to react to FFG so many times. She knows what these people's voice sounds like. She's going to use that excuse again and again. Why would you say that you're doing it in the first place? It doesn't make any sense. It's really toxic and it's probably better like if I didn't love my Beezers and I didn't like the attention of making videos and entertaining people I wouldn't want to be on here either trust me like if I wasn't making money from the hey, internet Vasilia. um I wouldn't be doing it I don't control him if you <laughs> she's off as soon as the money dries up she's gone it's interesting though this is her only source of income like if this dries up I wonder what she was thinking for real when she got banned last year or I guess it's coming up on two years ago. Wow. March 2022. She got banned from YouTube, but she came on YouTube acting or she came on um, OnlyFans or Patreon acting like her shit don't stink. Like she didn't care. I'm good. I'm good. But that's how she, everybody expected her to act really wanted to come online that would be up to him all right why not come clean about the couple's channel and salah if he's not coming back why are you together if what you wanted was a couple's channel in the first place right come clean about what i've said he does not that's all she wanted was the couple's channel not want to continue being online um if he's not coming back why are you together so you're basically saying that the entire reason and you choose to believe that the entire reason we're together is just for for a couple's channel for content well then that's your problem because there's something called love <laughs> she knew that the natter saga had run its course and she had to find herself a new side character and so she went out to kuwait to get him <laughs> allegedly oh we looked at the symptoms of oppositional defiant disorder and borderline personality disorder no do you believe she's so angry in this video it's great i should have just reacted to this what was i thinking this is great you might be experiencing disorders is it possible that you're addicted to stress no additionally why are you not interested in learning to speak arabic especially considering your desire to live there for a while your husband's first language and as a means to show appreciation for the culture i appreciate the culture doesn't mean i have to speak the language why is one side of your who does a q and a when every single answer is just going to be bitchy his face swollen along with your eye have you seen a doctor about this my face is swollen on one side i don't see it um it's swollen on both sides maybe you're looking too much at my face i don't know uh, if you end up too ill or bed bound and become unable, these are like the dumbest questions I've ever read in my <laughs> life. 
This is, I know why. why These are great. It's crazy that she's now bad bound. Why I'm annoyed is because I know where this comes from because reaction channels will sit there on panels for two hours talking about contriving these stupid theories if you end up too ill or bedbound and become unable to make youtube videos what's your backup plan to make enough money to continue living how you are without issue listen if i become bedbound which won't happen because i literally just did a video of walking but okay if i become bedbound which won't happen and then her sciatica flared up and now she's bedbound wow it happened so fast um, if I become bedbound for some reason, then YouTube would be the easiest form of making money. Would it what kind of uh, questions did she think that she was going to get? I mean, stay mad, baby. Stay mad, bitch. Stay mad, bitch. <laughs> this is great. Not Have you or do you consider your life out of control when it comes to your ability to control your eating and control your health? Well, yeah. <laughs> I thought was pretty obvious. Do you really walk those 3,000 plus steps or did Salah walk most of them? What? We walked alongside. That's how he was able to film me. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> I have spent a lot of energy in my life. I am old in the pursuit of men. Don't all women like <laughs> want a partner or most of them? Watching my weight what? and changing my personality and fussing over them. And you know what I have realized? Men don't like women at all. It takes age and life experiences before they even really care about other people. Even their woman. I don't. I think you're talking about personal experience. If you never had to pursue a man, what would you do with your life? What are your interests? Um. I oh my gosh! If she never had to pursue a man, food. You know, <laughs> food. I was thinking about her relationship with Natter, and like, you know how they say it's so hard sometimes to leave these abusive relationships, and a lot of people think to themselves, like, if I was in that situation, I would just leave. I would just leave. Like, I wouldn't... Why would I stick around? That's ridiculous. But Chantal would always say, like, it's not that easy. Look at other people that have been in this situation. But what was she staying for? Like, the man was not loving ever. Ever. He had no money. All he really brought to the table was drugs. So is that what it was? Something to think about. Trisha Bobisha, thanks for the super. FFG said in a recent video that you're the one of the only reaction videos she still cares to watch. Yes, that's awesome. Thank you, Trisha. Welcome, welcome. Did Natter even like her? The relationship seemed so one-sided. Natter wanted money. And I think someone to do substances with. Oh, yeah, the D, yeah. And, I mean, he also just saw her as, like, a whole, you know? And she liked the green, the green peen. The green peen and the substances, so there was that. <laughs> Yikes. I don't think that my life has anything to do with pursuit of man. I could leave and be single right now and still have my independent life. You know, I but that's what the last five years have been her trying to pursue men. As soon as she broke up with BB, that's all, all she could talk about. So she went through this phase where she quote unquote hated men and she just went to mukbangs. But a year after she got on those dating apps and started again, first man that she found natter and she has not been single since then she found her her poo boy her kuwait ticket her ticket out of canada i fell in love and that wasn't planned it's not something that i planned it's not like i was like oh, i need a man i need a man uh, yeah natter wanted someone to pay for substances yeah I don't need a man. I want a man. Actually, maybe I do need a man. I, I need um, someone, you know, supportive and I need romance and attention and. Oh, we know you need attention, girl. Intimacy. Intimacy is a huge thing in my life. I've never really pursued a man. That's why people question the relationship, because we don't think there is any intimacy. And the intimacy that we do see is so fake looking. There's absolutely no chemistry like to the point where it ruined my life I've 
sued a man, like to the point where it ruined my life. My life. I've never really pursued a man, like to the point where it ruined my life. Okay, I had to play that over and over again because did she really say that? Is she really that delusional? I've never pursued a man to the point where it ruined my life. That was literally the point of the Natter saga. That literally is the Natter saga. <laughs> I've never really pursued a man right. like to the point where it ruined my life. <laughs> All the Natter Saga videos, I can't. How can she, is she really that delusional? Did she just say that because she knows people are going to be like, you've got to be kidding, right? She can't be that delusional, right? I mean, that's crazy. We saw it play out over the course of two years. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. A big fat lie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, the cops being, yeah, even the cops were involved. Like, you know your life is bad if the cops are involved in it. <laughs> Whose video, oh, did I not say? This is Queen of WTF. Booty Beauty Chantal asks for your questions and gets irritated answering them. She's not happy. She is not happy. Like I've always just always worked, always had my own life, you know? So I don't I don't really understand your question fully, but I hope that answers it. Okay, I'll answer that first part. You uprooted what life and family connections you had for Kuwait and everything you thought it was going to be. Um if you're referring to the event that happened with my husband and I as it completely ruining, ruining everything we had built. That's where the reason I'm here is because it didn't, because that's where I outweighed everything we had with um, what we talked about in private and promise, new promises we made to each She weighed the pros and cons. Do I want to look like a loser on the internet or do I want to look like a loser on the internet with a husband? Each other, we are starting again <laughs> a new I maybe didn't foresee that happening, that event happening, but maybe that was my error. Maybe I was naive and um, needed maybe. to realize that there was, there were some communication issues in our relationship that we had to. Well, clearly there was something missing from that relationship. He wasn't able to be open and honest with you about what he liked. And maybe that's the key to this whole situation. Why did he feel as though he wasn't able to share that? as disgusting as it is, with his wife, but he could share it with a complete stranger. Fix. Will you regret leaving stability in pursuit of needing to belong to a man relationship? Oh, honey, I don't know how long you've been watching me for, but if you think that my life in Canada was stable, it was go back and watch my live streams from a year ago, okay? Yeah. It actually is more stable in Kuwait, I guess. You don't fully know our relationship, everything we built, other than this one slip up. Yeah, where's ALR? I want a new ALR video. <laughs> what is she doing? Um, with the text messages, it wasn't in real life. She's in the laundromat. I mean, people think that I'm like weak or something uh, for running back here and trying to make my marriage work over that mishap. Um, I think I'm strong to be dealing with all of these things. What happens if Salah... Up she always flips everything. Keep telling yourself that, girl. And leaves you because it isn't what he wanted after all. Okay, then that happens and I'll deal with it. I try to develop my character to be able to deal with problems as they come up because they can happen, but I don't anticipate them and, and give myself more anxiety. Before you moved to Kuwait, you wanted to adopt a baby. Is that still a plan? No, not right now. Did you ever consider? Yeah, girl, it is not the time to be, yeah bringing a baby into this relationship. It'll never be the time. She is just not cut out to be a mother, to be a mother in any way, shape, or form ever, ever. It's just not in the cards for her. You know, she's so selfish, delusional, lazy. Now she has sciatica and she's bed bound. Salah, if anybody would be taking care of that baby, it would be Salah. And... I don't know. I mean, they're very traditional over there. Very traditional. 
your YouTube career could be hindering your weight loss motivation? No. I don't think so. Will you be in Canada? Will you be in Canada for Ramadan? Your visa expires, doesn't it? How will you do Ramadan without Salah? None of what you just said is ever going to happen. So, like, you imagine a total situation on your own there. No, I will not be in Canada for Ramadan. My visa expires, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Um, how will you do Ramadan without Salah? I won't be. Anyways, um, that's it for this. Oh my God, we have 1984 viewers. Literally 1984 part one of the q a i'm sorry if i seem like snarky but i don't know how else to answer some of the questions without sounding that way because they're kind of like really weird question like dumb questions and i'll see you in the next video bye girl i mean it was a video <laughs> there wasn't a single question in there that you had to answer although she's really doing what she should be doing because those are the questions people want to hear not what's your favorite color <laughs> How do you feel now that it's now that you've been a Muslim for one year? That's not exactly what people want to hear, huh? Oh my goodness, that's a year. Yep. She's been a Muslim for over a year, guys. She put on that hijab in October of 2022, actually. You know, it was just weeks. Before that, she was still speaking to Natter. And then just like that, just like that, it was over. Mm -mm -mm. Yikes, cities on bike titties. Big Brother is watching. Yes, he is. Okay, I'm going to have to do a little break. Maddie, thank you for the super sticker. Thank you, honey. You want to see 2019 likes? Yes. Can we get 2019 viewers? <laughs> I'm going to find a video that I can put on. Thank you, Just Jamie, for the super chat. All visas expire. That is true, right? I don't really know much about visas and immigration and all that tea. That's not my tea. All right, we're going to do a bathroom break. Intruder. Let's put that on. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait, I want to see this, though. That you never come around. I did find this part to be a little bit alarming when it comes to her use. I mean, she's desperate. Yikes. That's when you know things aren't very good, are they? Hey, I need a weapon. For real. At this point, she suspected this is the intruder. That there could have been an intruder in the house because she heard a noise. But really back here, um, I think Sam was playing in the closet because you actually saw him pop out at one point. Hey, come out. Yeah, now. it was just Sam. Oh no, 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 no. Peace, peace, peace. There's an intruder. Come here. No. I'm not <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be right. You see that? You see Sam pop out of there? I just think it was, you know, Sam making some noise, but it was strange that she was so alarmed by it. And so she made Pete's open up the balcony door. I mean, it is a screened in balcony, so it's a bit strange. Intruder. That would take a lot of effort, wouldn't it? So here comes our white knight, Mr. Pete's, to open up the door for Chantal. Wow, what a shot. Oh my god. No, they're gonna think I'm crazy. Is that a roll of toilet paper? No, did you see what happened? That's why I need a roommate. You're right. Who would I fucking run to right now? I'd be dying. I'll be running across the street with my cat pajamas. By the way. You know, just last week she was ready to dump him and now she's saying that uh, she needs a roommate. What? Um, Should I be muting this? Because I don't want to talk about personal stuff. Nah. Uh, Wait, let me mute in there. So. Okay. She is beauty. She is grace. <laughs> Probably. Turn. <laughs> no wait. You need the bonnie glasses. Turn around. 
Oh no, I don't like my side face. Look at it. Look at my Look, I thought that this uh, moment in the live stream was, you know, pretty textbook narcissist, right? She says that she doesn't like her side face first, but then. Side face is not as nice as the front face at all. It's not as nice as the front face. So you've got a little bit of that like self-deprecation self as well as like, you know, she is always looking in the viewfinder at herself. <laughs> It's funny how you can look uglier from different angles, you know? Mm -hmm. It's all an illusion, right. but... Not, uh... You can tell she was, like, really feeling herself. And Pete said that um, he's just looking for an angle where he doesn't look ugly. That's what he said. And Chantal claps back with um, this little number, which I thought was pretty funny. Self-deprecating humor is so fucking 1996. Self-deprecating humor will never They'll go listen to style. garbage. In the... It'll never, It'll go, never go out of style. I think I'm paranoid. A lot of edibles. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll, next live stream, I won't have any, okay? How about that? See, the viewers in the chat are starting to get, you know, very annoyed with her because at this point, things had really started to kick in and sh <laughs> kick in, girl. Love to see it. I was so shy back then, you think? I am very like soft spoken in that video. Like back then she was like, it was starting to kick in. <laughs> I'm going to be miserable every- I'm going to be miserable every single day. All right. All right. Should we do a pizza of my check-in? I haven't checked in with Pete's in forever. Pete's plays. Does he do live streams anymore? It's been two weeks. It's been three days since he did one. Oh no, Pete's doesn't even stay on for an hour anymore. He only stays on for 37 minutes now. That's sad. And then he played something. So. Oh, what is this? That's something different. He only gets a hundred views on these now. What happened, Pete? It's so sad. His channel is just like destroyed. It's in the garbage. Have you guys seen this? Scientology, the cult, and the woman left in their wake. So good. I recommend everybody watch this if you have two hours and 12 minutes <laughs> to spare. You can just listen to it. It's fine if you just listen to it. It was fantastic. I didn't know that much about Scientology. He looks worse. Oh, for sure. <gasps> Pete! Language! Nonsense. You got me thinking nonsense. <laughs> he doesn't say anything. Hey, BK. He, hey, Kelly. You can't stand Tom Cruise? Yeah, I'm definitely side-eyeing Tom Cruise. Like, why would he get involved in all that? What's he mad about? But no, I don't feel like being connected to YouTube anymore. I don't want to. He's done. Connect to YouTube anymore. Why? Who the fuck knows? Just every once in a while, my laptop decides that it doesn't want to. Oh, he's just mad at his laptop. That's all. He's going to be miserable. I'm going to be miserable every single day. I think that, yeah, Chantal needs to rescue him. Like, ever since Chantal left him, it's just been downhill for poor Pete's. It's so sad. Let me grab a tissue, guys. Oh, wait, it's right here. I've got my tissue. Um, I don't think As there's I anything can... going on. There's never anything going on with Pete's. Rage, rage, rage. I did uh, have realized that I do also like onion on my uh, hot dogs. 
that's the only tea we're gonna get. Who does do hot dogs? But I got the burger. Wait, they talked about hot dogs for five minutes. Can he afford a new computer, girl? <laughs> do you think he can afford a new computer? The fries were bad. Body dysmorphia. And sorta. No. Legitimate spiritual mm -hmm. practice mm -hmm. of that sort. Uh huh. Things need to be done to improve it and blah, blah, blah. It's just, it's more, we just need the right people in charge of the system. Keep everything exactly the way it is, just get the right people in there. Mm hmm. All right, I'm done. <laughs> It seems like nothing has changed. That's our update. That's our pizza of my update. <laughs> OMG boring. I know. Nothing ever changes. It's always the same thing with Pete's, isn't it? He sits in that room, complains about his life, but does absolutely nothing to change it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We all know that person, though. And for a long time, that was Chantal. It's still Amber Lynn. But right now, um, for a long time, that was Chantal. I mean, it still is in certain ways. But she would talk about how she didn't want to be in Canada. She hated Canada. And she got her ass up and she actually left. Which is more than we could say about Pete's. But Pete's doesn't want to leave Canada. I mean, where else would he go? I don't think Pete's would really hang in the U.S. I don't think Pete's could hang in the U.S. Pete's and Jeffree Star know what's up. What? Why Jeffree Star? Did uh, Yuji come back? Does anyone know what happened to Yuji? So Eugenia left TikTok. Has she come back? Because there was rumors swirling. A lot of people like get worried if she never comes back because, you know, you know why they're worried. But last I heard was nothing. Has anyone seen from Yuji? I have to look at her TikTok. Pretty sure he hates all Americans. He does. <laughs> and we hate him. 1231 was her last TikTok, which is so weird. She was age restricted. Yeah. Who calls her UG? Just me. She got age restricted, so no money from the lives. Well, that would definitely do it, huh? She's definitely going on there for the money. But she goes on there for like hours and hours and hours, and she doesn't eat a drop of... She doesn't drink a drop of water. She doesn't eat a piece of food like for eight hours straight. It's crazy. Conspiracy talks, just different angles. But has anyone seen from her? I guess she is like missing right now. But that's a long time to be gone. And then she hasn't posted on YouTube either. Maybe she's trying to sort it out with TikTok before she comes back. And then, yeah, she hasn't been back till since Christmas on YouTube. You know what it is? Maybe she is doing that thing. A lot of creators take off in January because the money's not good. Maybe she's doing that, but she's not telling anybody because she wants people to think that she's dead. Because that's what she lives. That's how she lives. You know? She, like, loves that. It's weird. All right, let's check in with Hungry Fat Chick. You think she's getting help? I hope. Or you hope she's getting help? Yeah, I hope she's getting help as well. She's on the Twitch. Is she for real? She posted a statement. Really? I 
didn't see it. <laughs> the statement was vague and she liked to bait. Oh, okay. So she did post a proof of life. So we know that at least. It could be Deb though. I wouldn't put it past Deb to post a statement and like cover things up. But the truth will come out eventually. Let's look up. What is it? Aventura Dark Star. Where is she? Oh, that's not the name of it. Where's my notebook? I haven't been doing my calendar, guy. <laughs> Remember I said I got a calendar? I got this calendar at the Target Dollar Spot. I was so excited to do it and fill out my week. I'm going to do it tomorrow. But I haven't done it for like two weeks. <laughs> I feel like Amber... Luckily, it was only a dollar, so Deb would drag it on. How would Deb even respond? Like, would they question Deb? I mean, of course they would question Deb, but you like the glasses? They're giving 80s. Kevin, have you ever heard of jellyfishing? Jelly fishing, jelly fishing, jelly, 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 jelly. Do you guys watch like the news and politics? It's so dark lately. And then the elections coming up. A lot of drama. Alrighty. Kim Kardashian. Get your fucking ass up and work. Oh, did you guys see that Kim Kardashian is returning? Like she started working with Balenciaga again. After they did that whole like child corn scandal. It doesn't surprise me one bit. So they had like kids in bondage, like weird gear, right? And that was like a year ago. But now Kim is working with them again because she really, she'll do anything for a dollar. Anything for a dollar. She doesn't care. She has no, like, morals. You know what I mean? She has no morals, like, anything for money. Okay. We have a new health journey vlog from Candy. I am so excited. Disappointed but not surprised. I stopped, like, caring about them in 2019, 2020. Like, I used to be a fan. I know, I know. Don't make fun of me, but I used to be a fan. But in 2020, I, like, started to just get annoyed with them. And now I'm, like, mad at them. <laughs> Not mad, but, like, girl, Really? After that, you're going to work with them again. It's pretty disgusting, but I'm not surprised. All right, so Candy has a new weight loss vlog. Super excited. Do, do, do. Amazura, this is Candy. Health journey vlogs weigh in 126.24. Yes, let's get into it. It looks like she has some donuts, girl. What's going on with the donuts? What's going on with the donuts? Greed is a powerful thing. You're telling me. Buy me Prada. Yeah, let's get some Prada, though. I want some Goosey. <laughs> Should I get Goosey? It's just a waste of money for me. I don't make that much money to get Goosey. <laughs> I'm fine with like Zara, Stitch Fix, H&M. I'm fine with that. I don't really buy from H&M anymore though. It's just not good quality. It really isn't. I'd rather go to, like, Kohl's, honestly. Health journey. Yes. Is that mushrooms? On a piece of toast? 
What about Ethan? A lot of... Oh, I missed it. What is that? Like some sort of casserole? And there she has one of those, like, packaged salads. I love these, like, packaged salads where it's all just there. The meat, the veggies, the ranch. You just mix it all together. Yes, yes, yes. And then two sandwiches. Do you guys get these salads? They're, like, they're either $3.99 or $4.99. I like to go to the store that has them for $3.99. Gotta save that dollar. You know how it is. In this economy, I'm not paying $5 for a salad. Oh, really? Ethan is on Ozempic. H3, H3? You mean? Is he like, is Ethan posting like all the time now? I'm just not really a fan of him, to be honest. (laughs) I loved Frenemies and their dynamic was so funny. But I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of H3H3. I'm just not. He's not posting. Oh, no, he is two days ago. Okay. You don't like him? Yeah, I don't really either. Who is Ethan? H3, H3. Steak looks good. That steak looks good. She actually cooked it that time. Last time it was like raw. Okay, sandwich looks good. Gotta have the pickles, right? I had a sub yesterday and I kind of regret it. (laughs) But I was with my mom and she really wanted a sub. So, you know, I went. I'm not going to be like that party pooper. I'm on a diet. I can't eat anything. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. So we had Primo. Do you guys have Primo? That's like the best sub. I got ham and cheese. With all the peppers. I love sweet peppers, hot peppers, pickles, um, banana peppers, any pepper. And a little bit of mayo, oil, vinegar. Hey, y'all. It's January 26th, 2024. You don't like Gila? I don't like Gila either. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't. I don't like either of them. I've been on a diet. Not in the last. She's not on a diet? Couple of weeks. Not really, no. Um, here and there, I try to eat a little bit better. But for the most part, I'm just just doing whatever. Yeah, Primo is so good, right? Look at that big-ass plate of donuts. And my whatever just so happens to be ordering donuts in the middle of the night. <laughs> you eat a couple of them, save them for breakfast, eat a couple. You just ate a big edible? I'm probably going to have an edible as soon as I get off. <laughs> More after dinner. Yeah. Yeah. That's me being. Pink box. Naughty. <sighs> I just have to look at those. I love donuts, guys. <laughs> One thing to know about me. I absolutely just adore donuts. Whenever I go to the grocery store. Not every time, but. Sometimes I'm too tempted. I will get one. I will get one. Sometimes two, but never more than two. <laughs> I love a good cronut, um, cream filled, regular, um, the chocolate cake donut, or even the original donut. So good. I just love them so much. But uh, anyway, I didn't weigh last week, you know, because I had a I had a two pound gain. Yeah, she doesn't even care. Mm-hmm. Like I understand getting a donut. Obviously, I just talked about getting donuts, but do we have to get a whole box? You know, 
that's like what in so I'm doing like intuitive eating, right? So if I want a donut, I'm going to go get a donut, but I'm not going to get a box. <laughs> you know, that's how you do the intuitive, I think. Moderation, right? You want a donut? Go get yourself a donut. Maybe you could have half now, half later. Maybe you could just eat the whole thing. But nobody needs a box, a whole box. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I didn't weigh last week, you know, because I had a I had a two pound gain. <sighs> yeah, so we're gonna... the self control is not self controlling. See where I'm at this week. Alrighty, give me a second. Let me see if I can get up. She might go out of focus. Okay. Hello. Like this, I want some Doritos. I'll get a bag of Doritos, but you know what I'm not going to get? A family size bag, you know? I saw the family size. <laughs> it looked tempting, but I just got the single serve. Well, I think there's like three servings in here, but... Yeah, there is. <laughs> it's not a family size bag. That's all that matters. <laughs> oh. Hi. It's ready. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can't really see. Voodoo that. donuts. Ooh. We have, do you guys have duck donuts? They like make them. You can make like your own donut. Come on. Or we have a local cupcake shop. So good. 392. 392.0. Oh, crap. Mm. Okay. Well, uh, seems like I'm going back down a little bit. Uh, that's right. good. 392. Girl, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like she cares that much anymore, which makes me kind of sad. It's the first month of the year, too, so you think she would be back on. Yeah, so I haven't really been trying, but... Yeah. Bye. <laughs> but anytime there's a little bit of a loss, I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Krispy Kreme. I haven't been there, like... I don't know if I've ever been to Krispy Kreme because I don't have one. The Voodoo Donuts, I don't think I have that either. I don't really like Dunkin' Donuts. So I usually just get like a grocery store donut to satisfy that itch. And I don't want to get like a box, you know, because I will eat the whole box. Not in one sitting, but before they go bad because they don't last that long. Now you want a donut? I know, me too. <laughs> Where's Voodoo Donuts? I don't know. Nowhere near me. Chicago? So I didn't do as bad as I thought. <laughs> Krispy Kreme? But anyway, talk later. At 7-Eleven. I don't even know if I have a 7-Eleven. Let me look. It's not the same. Like, I feel like it's just not the same. Okay, we do have 7-Elevens. But, um, yeah, Krispy Kreme at 7-Eleven. I feel like it's not the same. <laughs> you want a Boston cream? That sounds good. Okay, so even after all that, the box of donuts, the mukbangs that she did that this week, which we'll click into... She still lost 2.4 pounds. Can she keep that up? Can she keep up the two pounds a week? Because it doesn't have to be. Like, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And she's been kind of up and down all, all month, huh? All right, let's see what she put out this week in regards to mukbangs. Because I'm highly, highly interested in that. Should we do today in 2019? I just really want to watch Amber for some reason. Let's see what Hungry. So this week she did Popeye's Spicy Fried Chicken Family Feast. Girl. 
Family Feast. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to look at that one. Burger King, Texas Double Whopper, and Sonic Drive Through 4 a.m. Wow. Let me click on this one. You like my hair? Thanks. I eat like a family. Family of five. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm going to fix up a nice spread and I will be right back. I want to see the spread. <laughs> okay, here you have it. Two sandwiches, girl. A huge Popeye's feast. Um, I believe I have here a... I can understand why people watch these kinds of videos because it's like... Who's going to get two sandwiches and all that fried chicken? Not many people would. Unless, I guess, they have BED. It's some kind of chicken and cheese sandwich. What the hell is it? Uh... Amber in 2029. <laughs> Do you think we'll still be here in 2029? Doing, like, 2019 10th anniversary video? <laughs> 2019, the 10th anniversary. I can't. The spicy bacon and cheese chicken sandwich over here. That would it's be humongous. wild. There's a big patty. And this here is the spicy. There's something very like, I wish I had that about this. Blackened chicken sandwich. It doesn't have a whole lot of stuff on it. It's not a very big breast. Patty. Chicken breast. breast. But this one's got a lot of breading on it, so I can't really take that into account. Um, I have six pieces of spicy chicken. Four biscuits, a large mac and cheese. That, uh, oh my God, I can't wait to get into that. And a large mashed potatoes. And I also got a unsweet tea, which I do have sweetener over here now. <laughs> oh, what else is there? Oh, let me break my dasher real quick. They did good. Oh, shoot, I should have did a photo. Dang. Oh, Portland, Oregon voodoo donuts. That's where it originated. You know, now that you say that, I think I heard that before. They eat those on, like, TikTok, right? It's like a big TikTok thing. Yeah. <laughs> I had it all spread out so nice. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we will worry about It's the 10th anniversary of Amber's cycle, right? Stanley Cup rep just confirmed the cups contain lead. Really? I have to look at that. Should we look at that right now? Can we get 500 likes? Yes. Let's try to get up to 500 likes. We only need eight more. So we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Shrimp Gate. Five-year anniversary of Shrimp Gate is coming up. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. It's been half a decade since Shrimp Gate. Nah. -uh. I can't even believe that. Hold on. It's been half a decade since Shrimp Gate. Until Coming up, yeah. April. So April will be the fifth anniversary. We should do like a live stream in April. Celebrating the fifth year anniversary of Shrimp Gate. Are you guys down? <laughs> Are you guys down for the fifth year anniversary? Happy Shrimp Gate, girls. Yeah, it'll be like that. I'll eat, I'll, I'll get shrimp. We can have a shrimp party. Oh my gosh. I'm putting that in my phone. April 3rd. When's April 3rd? We should do that. That would be so hilariously funny. We can all get shrimp. It's a Wednesday. So I can do like a middle of the day live stream. Okay. Let's do it. We'll all get shrimp. And we'll watch Shrimp Gate. Make an appointment on April 3rd called Shrimp Gate 5 Year Anniversary. Shrimp Gate 5 Year Anniversary is scheduled on April 3rd, <laughs> 2024. We're doing it. That would be amazing. I'm going to get myself a shrimp platter. We're going to get, we're going to eat shrimp. We're going to watch shrimp gate. 
I wish I could find like Young Dumb Honey Buns, the video that she did on it. Cause she did like, I swear Young Dumb Honey Bun did like three videos on Shrimp Gate. Like every year she revisited it and like broke it down even more and like talked it to death. <laughs> But I think those are all deleted. What happened to her anyways? Girl, nobody cares anymore. Oh, I do. <laughs> Instagram nutritionist. You can't wait. Shrimpgate. Yes. Shrimpgate is one of our members. Yes. Shrimp costume. Oh my gosh, should I get a shrimp costume? What do you guys think about Foodie's visa? Is it expired or what? Well, I guess it's not expired yet, but coconut shrimp. Ooh, should I get like red lobster or should I just get like a shrimp platter? I love the coconut shrimp at Red Lobster. That minute. But yeah, I got a down to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Does Candy get tired of these? Does she get tired of it? Chantal's kicked pork. Apron, thank you for the super. Alex, dress as a crustacean for the anniversary. <laughs> dress as a crustacean. Um, do they have something like that on Amazon? <laughs> Could be interesting. Happy Shrimp Gate Day, everybody. April 3rd, April 3rd. Mm. <laughs> mm, look juicy right now. Mm. I just want to see if it's all gone by the end. No. It's not all mm. gone at the end. What does she say after all that? I'm very satisfied. I enjoyed <laughs> it. No shit. Um, I'm going to admit to y'all, last night... I got some weird cravings and I ended up ordering Chinese food. I was not feeling it, not happy. Uh, I was like, what are you doing? I have to be like in the mood for Chinese food. They have a lot of shrimp costumes. I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. I'll think about it. She just beezes on camera. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just on one right now. Whew. All right. I'm going to look for our 2019 video. Just feeding. Feeding my face. Being just fatty. feeding. Being the fat chick. Ooh, yep. get the red lobster <laughs> biscuits. Oh. It's definitely going to be a cheat day. On Wednesdays, we eat shrimp. Yum. Hey. <laughs> oh, but man, that, that was good chicken. I did enjoy the chicken. Mm. Mm. I love the crunch. So what y'all think about the... The board set up. <laughs> was that appealing? Mm -mm. I just got this in the mail. Was a that appealing days ago. for you guys? Was that appealing for you guys? The board set up? Because I've been eating steaks more often. <laughs> I was like, it might be nice to have a nice board <clears throat> to cut my steaks and serve them on for myself. Mm. All right, I'm looking for and our Also, it could double video. as a charcuterie board. Because, man, them charcuterie boards, they, they look good. I've never tried. I saw someone on Twitter made them in a waffle iron. Oh, the red lobster biscuits. Oh, yeah, you can just make the red lobster biscuits. I should do that. 
because I should just get a shrimp ring and then make the red lobster biscuits at home. It'd be one, but it might be fun. Good idea. Good looking out, girly. <laughs> you know, this whole like sodium bomb with all the salamis and the pepperonis and types of things. <laughs> but I don't have to eat it all. I don't. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my belly. Yes, I'm very full. All right, we're scrolling mm -hmm. down, scrolling down, I drink scrolling it's down. Oh. <sighs> A 20 person party. Ooh. Stevia. <laughs> Okay, vlog. Anyway, there. you guys, thank you for spending time with me today. Ew, I don't like like artificial sweeteners like stevia or like equal. Stevia is actually not that bad. Equal is like gross or like splenda. Ugh. Stevia is the best one. I love you very much, and I will see you again next time. Mwah. Bye now. Bye now. Is that really it? Oh, Lordy. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Ooh, yeah, before. Does she mean to cut that out? Okay. Was this supposed to be cut out? Mm. Uh, Lordy, 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 the struggle Lordy. is real. Mm. Mm. Okay. I guess not, because... She left it in. So what would it be? Oh, yeah. 2019 would be. So I have to look where it says five years ago. Oh, my goodness. Red Lobster Biscuit Mix, $2.99 at Target. Really? What? Is it actually Red Lobster branded? And Frankie K, welcome to Sugars. Welcome. Is it Red Lobster branded? <laughs> Something is wrong with me. Okay, five years ago would put us at, let's see, what I ate today. What was that? January 5th. Not quite. 2019 starting weight. Octavia. The truth and a way in. No. Am I over 600 pounds? Let's watch the what I ate today. Even though it's a little bit older. And then 2019 starting weight. Okay. We're about five years from Octavia. Which is crazy. Or maybe we should just watch a what I ate today off track video. Every video, did you guys notice like every video Amber puts out lately is what I ate today off track? Like every single one. It's crazy. She really isn't sticking to much of anything, huh? So this is five guys. years ago. 2019. What I ate today. Look at her in that bed. That's so funny. <laughs> She's all cozy. I kind of want to get my blanket. Yep, five years since 2019. I can't. You love the retros? I feel like it's been a while. We don't usually do retros too often, although then we started doing today in 2019. You can't be off track if you're never on on track. Yeah, it's true. A lot of people say that, but it's true. 
yeah, we did see the video in the or the picture in the laundromat and the video. Yep. We saw that. That was crazy. So this is how I look when I first wake up. Let's not be surprised or anything. <laughs> I look like a crazy. So yeah, I just woke up. Um, we are going to do a little what I ate today video. If it's probably like four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I just woke up. I haven't eaten all day. Oh my goodness. Is that person still doing the 2019 drinking challenge? They're probably in the hospital by now. Rach? <laughs> Can we get, can we get a, a proof of life? I figured that would be fun. I haven't done one in forever. And I just want to say I am so close to 100,000 subscribers. I don't even know how it happened. Like yesterday I gained over 1,000 subscribers in one day. Oh my God, 100,000? Now she's over 200,000. I don't know what's happening, but I'm very grateful. And I'm just like, oh my God, it's. Oh, this is when she was like smacking every five minutes. Like, hello guys so awesome so thank you guys so much and i will be doing a giveaway so i have asked you guys what you guys want me to do for a giveaway and I've after the casey interview everything alr does seems sinister mm -hmm. i felt that way after watching cinnamon toast ken's newest video because they laid out every single bad thing that she has done over the years and it was like oh wow that was really fucked up like when she went to like when Becky went to, when Beck went to pick out her family's headstone and instead of being there for emotional support for Beck, Amber was in the car making a TikTok about lesbian adult films and why, sh why do straight guys like that? That's what she was doing while Becky, well, while Beck was picking out a headstone, a headstone. That is just crazy to me. Kind of dwindle it down because I've asked on several different social media platforms. Obviously, I'm going to do the giveaway on Instagram. So hopefully you guys have an Instagram. Everyone, if you don't have one, get one so you can be in the giveaway. But I'm dwindling it down and I'm either going to do a donation to a charity because a lot of people said do that. And I think that's super sweet and kind and thoughtful. Did she ever end up donating anything to a charity? I feel like no. Well, or I'm going to do $100 Venmo. She has no real emotions. Or when Becky's mom was recovering from surgery and she calls her and says, like, you could have thanked me for the money I was going to give you, like money that she supposedly didn't even give her. And the mom's recovering from surgery. Beck's mom. And your first thought is me, 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 me. You couldn't just leave it alone or, you know, say, I hope you recover. I hope you have a speedy recovery. That's just crazy. Just super easy. I'm able to send over the money. Oh, thank you, Jackie Howard. Happy Sunday. Hi, Alex. Thank you. And I think that's a great idea because... Anyone can do what they want with that money if they need help with rent or if they want to buy something that they've been wanting or they want to buy their kids some clothes like $100 can be so versatile. And and then she comes on like philanthropist Lynn. I'm going to give one of my fans $100. Who knows if anybody actually got $100. It's a nice thought, but it's just to cover her tracks while so much bad is going on behind the scenes. Yikes, son bikes. How do I zoom in? Where's my plus? This keyboard, like this Apple keyboard was like, I think almost $200. It doesn't light up. It doesn't light up for $200. I bought it thinking it lit up. <laughs> Stupid, right? I should have returned it. There we go. Great, now it's cut off. And then she moved wifey in while Beck was still there. That was one of the worst things. 
I feel like anyone would appreciate that. So I feel like that's a really good idea. So if you guys want to be part of the giveaway, you're also going to have to uh, download Venmo and get a bank account hooked up to that. It's all super simple. I use Venmo for everything. Me and Eric, me and um, my friends, like we all use Venmo. It's so simple. So yeah, uh, anyways, um, I'm probably not going to eat for a couple hours. I don't do the whole breakfast thing. I try to do. She's totally lurking. ALR, do you think she's lurking? Is she having a buzz ball? Girl, if you're on a buzz ball, say hey, because we know you're loose and you can't help yourself. You're feeling loose off the buzz. I was going to say loose off the goose, but <laughs> that's what I get. Gray goose. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> buzz balls. Just wait as long as I can before I eat because that's just how I roll as of lately. Oh my God, I need to fix my hair. It's really bad. So yeah, um, I'll show you guys what I'm eating when the time is there. So this is the first thing I'm going to eat. This is a serving of this ranch veggie dip. It's just like, what's the point? This is such a lie. You know, she always did these what I ate today videos, but there was never any truth to them. They were always just flat out lies. And then we have some broccoli and some carrots and cauliflower and some celery. So this looks pretty freaking tasty. I love raw veggies so much. I also love cooked veggies, but yeah, I'm pretty pumped. So I'm also going to have a few wasabi peas, like barely any, just a couple. <laughs> yep. That's all I'm going to have. I had Becky try one and she hated it. More so, lies. But I honestly love them. Beck was a bit of a picky eater, huh? Or she still is. The cottage cheese and mustard. Yeah. Why is Amber not doing the cottage cheese and mustard anymore? What happened to that? It was weird how she like stole that girl on TikTok, her whole personality, not just her food. She stole her food, but that's fine. I mean, it's TikTok. They're influencers. That's the point. No, she took like her whole personality with it. So you guys, I decided to give HelloFresh a try. So if you guys don't know what this is, they send you raw food. It's like recipes already just like made and measured out. Raw food. And stuff, but you have to cook it yourself. So it comes in this bag, obviously, to keep it cold. And this is how it comes. Like, it's literally already ready to rumble. Yeah, the cu cucumber boats. Her little snack. A cucumber boat. It's like a little cucumber boat. This is the roasted veggie feral bowl I got. And So they were debating on the Cinnamon Toast Ken video. They were debating, like, uh, the age-old question. If Amber got her shit together, if she seeked therapy, if she lost a ton of weight, would people leave? Would people stop watching? That's like the age old question. Should we try to answer it once and for all with a poll? I think we should. Will people leave? If she loses weight and seeks therapy <laughs> jeez Amber really hates this question but she brought it up many times also Mexican chicken and rice bowl you think she'd become more problematic yeah because if she lost weight but she also had like a ton of drama then people would definitely stick around. But if there was no drama and she was like a skinny queen and just being like smug and arrogant and cocky, then maybe people would leave. I'm not sure though. It just depends on the drama. Because if you think about it, most of the drama doesn't have to do with her weight. That's like the lying. Her lying drama usually has to do with her weight. But when it comes to her girlfriend speaking out, that's not really weight related. And because I got three meals, shrimp and spaghetti with a kick. Well, shrimp spaghetti with a kick. So I'm going to put these in the fridge, but they're all just raw. Yeah, it's the narcissism. Weight doesn't matter. She's a narc. Oh, I forgot what I was trying to say. Okay. Yeah. They're all just raw and they have to be cooked. So. Oh, what's on? There just wouldn't be that train wreck aspect, but 
you know, skinny people can be train wrecks too. It happens all the time. Look at Yuji. Look at like Lindsay Lohan in the 2000s. Yeah. Oh my God, what is that? Oh, okay, that's just ice. I was like, what the heck? So when you choose a rest- <laughs> What did she think she was getting? If she lost weight, her nastiness would get worse because the cockiness. That's what I was thinking. Like she would be like super smug, arrogant, and cocky if she lost weight and she would rub it in the hater's face. You know, I can't believe you're still reacting to me. I'm smaller than you. That'll be the go-to. I can't believe you're still reacting to me. I'm smaller than you. I can't wait to hear that. We'll never hear it. But that would be a good one, right? If he's online, they also give you... I did see, again, in the Cinnamon Toast Can video. I just don't want people to think I'm, like, stealing what they said. But I just want to share it with you guys. So, in that video, they said Tammy Slayton. If you guys watched The Thousand Pound Sisters, Tammy Slayton, before she finally had her wake up call and got the surgery. She was like drinking and she was partying with those men. Remember that? If you saw the show, well, ALR right now is drinking and it's been kind of train wrecky. Maybe this is like her last hurrah. Let me drink. Let me party. Let me go to the casino and gamble. I'm finally ready to get my life together, but I just need to pretend like I'm 21 for a couple more months. Probably not, but like, interesting theory. That's what Tammy did. And then she finally got that surgery. You obviously the recipe, a picture of it, and then... That was crazy to see Tammy like doing the alcohol funnel and like taking all those shots with those guys and like smoking. It was like, oh my goodness. She has like oxygen <laughs> and she's smoking and drinking and it was just kind of crazy. But now she's totally redeemed herself. I mean, wow. That weight loss is unbelievable. Exactly how to make it on the back. So these are the three that I got and how they're supposed to look once made. I didn't know I was getting this today because I already had all my meals planned for today. So tomorrow I may make one of these for lunch and one of these for dinner because I don't want. Yeah, she's definitely jealous of Tammy for sure. Not only the weight loss surgery, but the show and the fame. Because I posted on Twitter, if you guys have HBO Max, Thousand Pound Sisters was number three in the country, their show. I was like, wow, they're big time now. Like, they're Hollywood. They're Hollywood. I would like to know how much they actually make, though. Because if they really only make 10000 per episode, like... I feel like they should make more. I don't know. It's a lot, but it's not like if they only do 10 episodes, you know, that's only 100000 a year. That's like a normal person's wage. I'm going to go bad or anything. So I'm going to make some nachos. They're celebrities, I'm gonna you know. This onion, and we're going to cook some of that. I'm also going to have some raw, I think. And we're going to cook some ground turkey. For seasonings, I'm going to use a taco packet, black pepper, and garlic salt. So I have some blue corn tortilla chips. And like everybody on TikTok knows the Slaytons, the Thousand Pound Sisters. Everybody knows Amber as the two chips instead of an apple girl. Like it just is not the same. It's not the same. They gave me two chips, although I asked for an apple. But But that's that's okay. All right, battery exhausted. Thank you for the super. I'm not getting out of bed until March. Girl, are you foodie? (laughs) Get up out of that bed. Get up off of that thing. Shake and you'll feel better. Thank you, battery. HBO Max also has all the Studio Ghiblis right now. I want to see, has anyone seen The Boy and the Heron? Has anyone seen that? Let me know. I want to let me know if it was good. I'm sure it was. I mean, it's freaking Miyazaki. Of course, it's going to be good. 
Okay, will people leave if she loses weight and seeks therapy? 31% say that, yeah, they're out of there. They're out of 5,000. And 69% say no. They're sticking around till the end. All right. And I'm going to add the onions and meat on top of this. And I'm going to add some of these pepper jack cheese cubes. And then we're going to plop it in the oven. You want to see the boy and the heron so bad? I know, me too. So here it is completed. It did look a lot better once I pulled it out of the oven. But No, I haven't seen Mean Girls yet. I want to. I have nobody to see it with. I'm a loner. My friend said she might see it with me, though. I have, like, one friend. <laughs> oh, I should have asked my cousin. We saw Barbie. I saw Barbie with my cousin. But then once I got it onto the plate, now it looks... <laughs> Bless you, babe. <laughs> now it looks... Bless you, babe. Hot mess, but I know it's gonna... I want to do a Ghibli marathon. What's your guys' favorite Ghibli? I used to, every time I got sick, I would uh, watch Whisper of the Heart when I was in school and I could convince my parents to let me stay home. Whisper of the Heart every single time I would watch that. But my favorite is probably Spirited Away. I know that's like stereotypical or whatever. <laughs> it's a really good one, though. I also really like, do you guys like, uh, did you guys see Suzume? That was good. I recommend that. Your name is like my favorite anime movie for sure. Just watch Saltburn. Okay, I'll watch it. I have to get, you guys, I'm trying not to get Amazon Prime. Like, and I'm doing really well. It's not just, so for those of you guys that watch, like, I've been not boycotting Amazon, but like saving money by stopping Amazon Prime. And it's not just the $15 a month, right? Or the $12.99. If I have Amazon Prime, I'm going to buy, I buy so much on there, right? So yeah, it's not just the 13 bucks. It's the, it's Prime. <laughs> so that's, anyways, pr salt burn is on Prime, so you need Prime. Don't support Jeff. I know. He doesn't need any more of my money. Just yeehaw, or yar. Just yar it. Yeah, but I don't want to get one of those emails. We saw that you downloaded salt burn. Tastes good. <laughs> and over here, I'm going to use just a little bit of the salsa and this pack of guacamole. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I forgot to show you what I ate for my last meal last night, which is my bad. I completely forgot that I was even filming. I really oh my gosh, she did a what I ate today video and forgot to film what she ate. <laughs> you had one job, girl. I hate when that happens, but I do remember what I ate. So Eric and Ricky, they cooked this chicken Alfredo with mushrooms and broccoli. And they Why can't you just like, can you rent, like, why can't you just rent Saltburn, like, on freaking Apple for $3.99? Why can't you do that? Should I just use, like, one, two, three movies or something? Ended up saying that I can have a bowl. Is that what it is? One, two, three movie. Bowl. So I just had a normal bowl size of chicken Alfredo that Ricky made. It was super, super good. And then I have a major sweet tooth and that's something I need to work on, find better alternatives. But Becky and I ended up going to Sonic and I just got a mini Reese's black. Get up off of that thing. Asked. Those are so good. I will say mini Reese's blasts. Of course, that's all she got. They're definitely a little bit high in calories, Flickster. about 400 something. And I want to say it's worth it, but is it really though? So yeah, that was everything that I ate. <laughs> was it really though? Ate yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been like really requested. Oh, F movie. I don't want to like say these out loud because I feel like it's somebody will come for me.
But yeah, that's the one. That might be the one. <laughs> you don't think salt burn's worth it? Really? And Harriet I'm sorry it wasn't like inspirational, me just eating nothing but healthy foods, but yesterday was just pretty realistic. So hope you guys enjoy. Pretty realistic. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. For this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Remember when Foodie did the... I can't say it. She did that salute, and she said bye with a German accent. That was like, I couldn't even believe my eyes. If you guys like Family Guy, there's a new Ted show with Seth MacFarlane. Really? Oh, Ted, like the bear. Yeah. Okay. Watching Saltburn in Minecraft. <laughs> really? You can watch stuff in Minecraft? Oh, no, no, no. I know what you mean. I got it. Ding, 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 ding. Maybe someone's playing it. If you guys have a quest, like Oculus Quest, MetaQuest. There's an app where people will play movies and you can just go in there and watch it with them and look to Natter for approval. Yup. Yup. She did what? Yup. She did that during the Natter saga. And it was so obvious. And she was like, oh my God, you guys like, and she always says like, you guys know what it is. So that means you're bad. Like, how do you even know what that is? Like, you're bad. No, that's not how it works. That's a, that's the dumbest excuse. Of course we know how it, what it is. We're educated. We're college educated, sweetheart. Bitch, you don't have a degree. Well, some college. Bitch, you don't have a degree. Okay, I'm not a psychology major. Bitch, you don't have a degree. I get it, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> I want a... Do you guys ever follow Farrah Abraham? Oh my God. Every time I see her, her face gets stranger and stranger. Let me show you guys her face now. I took a screenshot from Teen Mom. Every time I see her, like, it's stranger and stranger. Somebody said she looks like a 60-year-old grandma. I didn't get that. She's, she's only three years older than me. Three years. She's 33. Craziness. Yeah, the corn mom, yeah. Quarantine mom. Farrah's mom's music video. I saw that. That was like 10 years ago now, right? Tofia. Expose her browser hub. Oh, yeah. Tofia was watching gay movies. Like, you know. <laughs> That's weird for like a straight girl to watch that. I just think it's kind of weird. But then again, like, it's not, it's really not unusual for straight women to like, um, like anime boys love, if you know what that is. It's gay, like gay anime. Some people really like that. Didn't she surgically tighten her kitty? I think so. I think she got like the... The stitch. The husband stitch. Have you guys ever heard of that? It's like... If you don't know what it is, you should read up on it. It's like a disgraced practice that they do after a baby. And, like, some, like, creep doctors will, like, do an extra stitch. And it's, like, against the law, and you can get sued for it because it's, like, it's, malpra it's medical malpractice, basically. Mm -hmm. 
But I mean, if you're the woman asking for it, then that's your business. But that's not the that's not the case a lot of the time. Yeah, it's done without consent sometimes. But she had, they like, sometimes they steam it. It's either they steam it or I don't know if, if Farah got like an actual procedure. But there is like a steaming thing where it's like rejuvenation. <laughs> where it's non-invasive. You just get your kitty steamed. I think they did that, did that on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, or at least Lisa Rinna did it. <laughs> You've gotten the snip. Really? You can't see UM? Wait, why would you get that done? No, Tofia didn't do it. Tofia didn't have a baby, did she? <clears throat> I don't think Tofia has a child. That would be like crazy. <laughs> I don't want any like scalpels near my junk. <laughs> but hey, you know, straight people do it. You just shoot blanks. Oh, really? Yeah, I think I knew that. I think I knew that. But like when I was younger, I thought that like nothing came out. But I knew that. I knew that you like shoot blanks. But when I was younger, I thought nothing came out if you got that. Because my dad got it. And I was like, oh my gosh, like what is he doing? Thinking to myself, like, why would you do this? Because I had just discovered how to do it. <laughs> so I was like thinking, how could he do that? <laughs> my mom my mom wanted a third, but my dad never wanted a third. So I could have had a brother or a sister. I kind of wish that I did. I have one sister, but another sibling a third sibling i would have been a middle child guys instead i'm like a baby i'm the baby but i would have been a middle child maybe my dad just didn't want me to be a middle child <laughs> good looking out pops your mom cried when she found out oh really that you can't have bio kids but why? You just don't want kids? Ever? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you married a boyfriend. Well, then, yeah, it's like, whatever. You're not going to have bio kids. Anyway, unless with a woman. I want a bio kid. Who wants to have a baby? I keep thinking about that. Like, do I need a baby to be happy? <laughs> That's just how I think sometimes. I know it's like not true. Many people have been happy without kids. But then I think like, especially around Christmas, I want a child because Christmas is like way better when you have a kid. But it would have to be for the right reasons. Or I would want to be in a relationship if I were to adopt or something. Would you want a younger lesbian sister or a gay brother? <laughs> um, I guess a lesbian sister. I don't know. Either a straight brother so that he could teach me things that my dad didn't get to teach me. Yeah. I think I would want a straight brother. I miss having straight guy friends. Like we would talk about games and chill. 
I've had straight guy friends in my life. <laughs> you have a cat. Eileen, thank you for the super. My twins turned one on the 17th. I've been here listening to you since I found out I was pregnant. LOL, missed you last weekend. Yes, I missed you guys too. But I was literally asleep. Like my head was spinning. I could barely stand. It was so bad. I was so nauseous. Do you guys ever get like so nauseous that your head is spinning? I don't know how to explain it. I have Kyle now. Yeah. I have Kyle now. So. You can teach me, Cam. Do you have like a straight side, Cam? Can you teach me like car stuff? That's what I mean. That's what I need because like I didn't, I don't know like anything about cars. I don't want to be ripped off at the, you know, either at the dealership or at the shop. A daughter or son first. I didn't even think about it. Um, daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I just want one daughter and that's it. No sons. <sighs> you know what I mean? My little princess. And then she could be super spoiled, just buy like anything she wants. <laughs> oh, wait, that's not like a good strategy. Well, you know, like only child vibes. You need more male friends. I do too. Kyle is the straight brother your dad never wanted. <laughs> True, he is. So for those that like don't know, Kyle is not just something I made up. Like Kyle is what my mom was going to name me. And I think if she did, I would have been straight. So that's Kyle. And then when I'm when I get really delusional, Kyle is my twin brother that died in the womb. But that's not true. It's just when I get really delusional. I had that delusion that Kyle was like my brother. Okay, let's, yeah. It was just a delusion. <laughs> what baby girl names do you like? Oh, yeah, like girl names. Oh, jeez, I don't know. Yeah, should I make a Kyle is Shook second channel? Kyle alter ego spreading false information. Kyle is in shock. I ate Kyle. Yeah, it was like one of those situations where like the fetus ate the other fetus. Or like, is that how it works? I don't know. <laughs> the parasitic twin. He just never grew. And now he's just like, I have a little tiny arm on the side of my body. That's Kyle's body. Like a little tiny baby arm, just like on the side of my body. <laughs> He's still there. He's still in my brain. Yeah. Yeah. He's still there. Kyle is shook gaming channel. Yes, because Kyle's straight. So like he's not going to react to girls like that's for gay guys and gore like Brad. You swam faster. Yeah. How does that work? Like the little sperms are swimming, swimming, swimming. <laughs> Is that true? Harry Styles ate his twin. That's why he has four nipples. I did know he had four nipples, but I didn't, I didn't know that was because of that. 
You're spreading misinformation. It's not true. Okay. <laughs> I'm too quick to believe some of you guys trolls. Your guys' trolls. I get it though. It's just funny. We we kid. We kid. We're funny. Okay. Has anyone read Fourth Wing? Because I'm obsessed with Fourth Wing right now. It's this book. It's giving like divergent Hunger Games vibes. But it came out in 2023. So let me know if anyone read it. Type in the chat that you read it. Let me know if you liked it. I'm like just a little bit through. I'm not very far through. But I like it so far. It's it's giving teen dystopian, but like with dragons. Like it's a fantasy, but it also has like divergent teen dystopian vibes. No spoilers? Okay, no spoilers. It sounds familiar. Well, it's like, it's all over Target, Barnes & Noble. Like, they have it at the front in all those stores when you go. So, it's like the new hot book, kind of, for teens. <laughs> it's the new hot book for teen girls. But apparently it's it's adult. It's an adult book, apparently. But it's very much giving young adult. But it's not you hate YA. It's not YA. It's adult. It really is. That's what they say. It's almost like inspired by YA, I would say. <laughs> but they say that um, millennials love YA. So adult writers are writing adult books that are almost like using some of those tropes to like get those millennials in, but then also get the Gen Z like book girlies as well. Yeah, I did see the Hunger Games prequel. Yeah, it was okay. I feel like it was better than Mockingjay part one, but that one was kind of boring. So, <clears throat> But other than that, like my favorite Hunger Games is Catching Fire. Catching Fire, then um, Hunger Games 1, Part 2 of Mockingjay, then Songbirds, then Part 1 of Mockingjay. Because nothing really happened in Part 1 of Mockingjay. It was just setting up the last movie. Tofu, thank you for the super... What's your top two favorite horror movies? I would say Scream franchise for sure. I love the Scream franchise. I also always liked The Uninvited for some reason. It's kind of mediocre, but it always stuck with me as one of my favorites because of the twist at the end. So check it out. Uninvited, The Uninvited. Thank you, Tofu. When's Amber coming back, y'all? Will she be back tomorrow? Should we do a summoning circle? Let's get our orange chicken. Get our good luck charm. We're gonna summon, we're gonna summon Amberlyn Reed back to YouTube. I guarantee she's gonna post tomorrow. I guarantee it just I just I feel it. I feel it in my bones. She's gonna post tomorrow. Amber and Reed will post tomorrow. Amber and Reed will post tomorrow. Okay. I bet you she will. I always like get it. Like whenever she goes on these breaks, I can guess the day that she's coming back and I feel tomorrow. I just feel it. <laughs> the Uninvited is so good. Yeah, right? It's like people forget about it. But it was good. Will she address the paparazzi? Yeah, she has to come back and address the paparazzi photo shoot. Because <laughs> she loves a good Monday. Yeah. Or maybe she already decided that she's going to take the rest of January off. That wouldn't surprise me. 
She realized the money wasn't that good. (laughs) Honestly, the money, like when it comes to YouTube and how people always say January sucks for making money, it's not that bad. It's not really that bad. It might be like 15% less. So it's not like it's not worth it to work. I don't know. If you have like a ton of money saved up, sure, I guess. But I don't know. I like doing YouTube, so I don't want to leave <laughs> for a whole month. I just took a break. I needed a little break, though. I got really burned out after December and then February or January. It just kind of continued and I was like forcing myself, forcing myself. But then I was like, let's take a real break because I had taken days off and taken days off. I was like, let's take a real break for four days. Don't worry about anything. Just live. And I feel so much better and just like refreshed and ready to start the new week. The Last of Us. Yeah, The Last of Us is good. I love Pedro. He is daddy. Daddy AF. Happy you are here. Yes. Welcome, Shrimp Gate. Or, I mean, you've been in here all night, but hello. (laughs) The Campfire Song, Spongebob. Chernobyl. Is that a good horror movie? I'm back into horror movies. After watching The Hunt, I'm back into horror movies again, so I wrote down like a few. But let me put Chernobyl on it. Where'd my list go? I lost my list. Here it is. Ready or Not. Has anyone seen Ready or Not? That's next on my list. Secret, Secret. Y'all always have, like, the best, like, if I need a recommendation on anything, like, skincare, movie, anything, I just ask Twitter, and y'all will give me, like, ten different choices at least. It's, like, amazing. Chernobyl is a show based on the real event. Oh, is it? That's, That's super interesting to me. I thought it was just, like, a horror movie based on it. But it's a show. I'm very into history. You're next. I've seen you're next. It's pretty good. It's kind of similar to. Like the hunt in a way. Kind of. Not really. But. Similar to ready or not. I feel like. Even though I haven't seen it yet. (laughs) I just got the vibe. Rich people killing each other, basically, is the vibe. What retinol? I'm using tretinoin, like prescribed from the doctor, dermatologist. I hear, like, they just give that to everybody now. Like, that's the favorite. That's, like, dermatologist's favorite is, like, they just give everybody tretinoin now. Everybody. Everybody. I guess if you're there for like acne, (laughs) if you're there like just for eczema, I guess they wouldn't, but I was there for both. (laughs) Watch the curse. Okay. I'll check that out too. Is that real? Chernobyl TV show. I want to get started on that like right now. Um, Chernobyl TV show. Is that new? Did you guys see Last of Us? When does that come back? Oh, okay. 2019 is when this is from. Oh, good. It's on HBO Max. So I have that already. Cool. That looks cool. Watch Poor Things. What's that about? Uh, it's scary. Is it? The TV show is scary? HBO? 
I'm so excited for Last of Us season two, though, because I love the game. Like, I know it's kind of controversial, like the second game, but I loved it. I thought it was great. And um, Abby, like she's the controversial character. No spoilers. No spoilers. She's just she's controversial. Abby, but I thought she was a good character. CC Wolf, thank you for being a member for 16 months. Hi, Alex. Love the hair. Thank you, girly. We're like basically bald now. I was kind of like triggered looking at my hair and my weight because I look like I did when I was using in like 2017 because I was like 160. And my hair was really short. I shaved my head. I sh- I literally shaved my head in 2016. I was on so many drugs. And I just kind of look similar the way that I did then. So I was like triggering myself. <laughs> did it? The Nicki Minaj disc track dropped. Is it really a disc track? I thought she said it's not a disc track. It is, but it isn't, but it is, but it isn't. (laughs) Should we do like a blind react? Or like, what would it be called if you guys can't hear it? (laughs) Nicki Minaj is still pressed. That's a video somebody did. I'll have to watch that. Because I don't know why she's upset. <laughs> Do you guys like high heels on my tippies? Don't say in Gabbana that's on my tippies. <laughs> right. The vitamin, the uh, hide to Vicky. However that goes. <laughs> what am I listening to recently? Oh, it girl. I T G I R L. You know, I am that girl and murder on the dance floor, murder on the dance floor. Okay. Where's Bigfoot? Do you guys have Apple music or Spotify? I feel like that's a big debate. Which is the best? I definitely prefer Apple way more. Spotify's confusing to me. <laughs> oh, it is on there. Nikki is vile. You don't like Nikki? Nikki's acting and sounding like she's on drugs or something. Really? I don't really follow her personal life. I just listen to the music. Because, like, I know about her man and, like, that whole thing. And, ew. It's disgusting. If you were, you know, killing it like Nikki, like, why would you be with a man like that? Like Kaya, it's it's giving like Kaya, right? <laughs> You've been using Spotify since high school. Yeah, I feel like it's the one you've been using the longest. It's so hard to like switch because I don't know. I downloaded Spotify. I got a three month free subscription. So I canceled my Apple Music Music for three months just to save money. Couldn't do it. I went back after two months. (laughs) I just wasn't listening to music anymore. So I was like, fuck this. The vape sounds like technology. It's from the future. I actually broke my vape. So the button is taped on. I have to buy a new one. Or maybe not. I'm just going to keep it until it break breaks. Because all I had to do was tape the button back on and it was fine. (laughs) So fuck it. It's like $50 for a new one. Fuck that. 
Kaya is maybe the worst. Kaya is maybe one of the worst humans in Girl World. You think? I haven't even paid any attention to her. She's back, like, in full force doing her regularly scheduled foodie reacts. How do you go back to reacting to food, to foodie after that scandal? You know what I mean? Like, in this economy, seriously? I know, right? Why spend another 50? All I had to do was put a piece of tape on it. <laughs> Rather do that. Rather do that. I want to buy a... So I need to save up, but... They're selling houses on like eBay. It's a container house. It looks cool. It's like 83,000 or something for a shipping container house. But like it's modern and it looks cool. It's like a one bedroom house with like a nice bathroom. A modern kitchen, but they build it in a container. I don't know. I feel like that's going to be my house because these prices are outrageous for anything else. For the love of Drake, thank you. Hi, one year sober this Saturday. How do I celebrate? Congrats for the love of Drake. Um, How do you celebrate, girl? Go out, maybe have a nice dinner. Maybe get a cake. You can always do a cake. It's your birthday. It's your sober birthday. Really. Eat whatever you want, I'd say. Yep, favorite restaurant. On eBay, yeah. Don't you need to own... Yeah, you have to own land, yeah. Or have somewhere to put it. If you rent, like, a lot. You just have to have somewhere to put it. So, that's a lot of work, too. So then you have to buy land, and then you have to somehow get... How does that work where, where you like put new electricity somewhere? I don't freaking know. They're all over Airbnb, are they? Coolio. They look cool. It's like a trailer, basically, like same size, same shape. <laughs> You've been in a container house. Nice and totally normal looking inside and held up. I might actually I might be serious. I don't know about buying on eBay, though. That's weird. <laughs> I'll have to. Somebody has to. Get it from somebody else. I don't know. Buy a used one. They're similar. Yeah, they're very similar to trailers. It looks like the same. Yeah, the plumbing has to be hooked up and everything. Maybe you can find, I can find one that someone's already, someone's selling that's already hooked up. Cause that sounds like a lot of work. I don't know how that works. Yeah. It'll be a lot of money to go from the ground up on like a piece of land with like nothing on it. The 2019 single brassiere. Yeah, she had that one polka dot bra. She said that there were two that looked the same. She had two bras that looked the same. What substances? Xanax. Yeah. When my life was like completely upside down, it was because of Xanax. So... I haven't taken one of those since 2019. And that's on period. But, yeah. <laughs> I haven't been, like, completely sober. Like, I've done schmettables. I've drank, you know. But that doesn't turn my life upside down. I know I probably shouldn't, but... We're not out here, like, being crazy. 
really acting like that stuff makes you completely crazy. In my opinion, I don't know how they just give it out like candy, but for some people like they're fine. They just have anxiety. They take one every now and again from a doctor like. Yeah. Yeah, Momo, you don't know what's in it now. Back when I was taking it, like they just started doing that where like you didn't know what was in it and like it could you. But now it's like crazy. You really don't know what's in it. Like that's really bad. So you really have to like, it has to be from the doctor or no, no, no. You cannot take that stuff at all from the street. That's why I'm really like for legalizing MJ. Like we don't have it in, in PA. We don't have it in PA because you don't know what people are putting in this shit these days. Even MJ like, or uh, dancing with Molly, you know, that girl, you don't know what they put in her. You know, so it's like they should just have legal MJ, legal Super Mario mushrooms, you know. Nothing crazy. Just keep people off. Keep people from buying like this stuff. You don't know what's in it. It's all about... um risk management that kind of thing or what's the word i'm looking for it's like uh not risk management but harm reduction yeah harm reduction so some people like they they were doing like h but now they smoke every day and like people will criticize them for doing that but it's like that's a major harm reduction. I mean, they're just doing MJ. It's not great for them, especially for their lungs, but you know, they're not doing H. So that's a win. It really is. Test strips. Yeah. You need test strips for sure. I ain't about that life anymore, though. Taking, like, un... Pills, I have no idea what's in them. <laughs> like, super thick. Cali sober, yeah. Or, like, a drink every now and again. Cigs and vapes are worse. Mm. I'd say, a, I mean, smoking like a blunt is, is worse than a vape. But people vape a lot more like every day and you don't smoke like blunts every day, all day, you know? So in that way, no, but like just on face value. I don't know. Because it's still smoke, you know? Oh, really? I don't know, Tofu. You just never know. Ugh, I just had to resign from my job. Really? I just started and missed your live. Oh, no. What happened? Why'd you resign from your job? What happened, girl? Oh, yeah. I heard that Tiffany Brown, like Super Mario Mushrooms in Ottawa. That's what uh, Foodie was doing. <laughs> the Super Mario Mushroom live stream. That was crazy. People were like, oh, my God. What is she doing? <laughs> she had the tea. She had the tea. And little did we know that was just the beginning. And that was like nothing like her having her fun with her Super Mario mushrooms, that was only the beginning and that wasn't bad at all compared to what 
she ended up doing. So I think that when it was, it was never cola. When it comes to foodie beauty, let me know what you guys think. So you guys know the whole cola saga, right? I don't think it was ever cola. I think it was mathematics the whole time. And she just thought that that was like trashy. So she didn't want people to know. So she just said Coca-Cola. You love me in black. It was always mathematics. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they didn't have that Coca-Cola money. What makes you say that? Because, um, like, Natter wasn't doing that. Like, like him and Dee Dee, they're all about that mathematic life. And, like, Natter was always, always wanted mathematics. And I just think it was mathematics. I don't know. <laughs> Just a vibe I get. And she didn't want to be called like trailer trash or whatever. Intruder. <laughs> the intruder live stream was the legal Mario mushrooms, I think. I think. Or was it? I don't know. What was the date on that? <laughs> no, it was mathematics. It wasn't. I don't know. I'll have to go back because they have like in Ottawa, you can get Super Mario mushrooms, his teeth, right? She didn't. Oh, yeah. She said she didn't like Vivans. <laughs> I was actually prescribed Adderall in t like 2017, 18. I was using like hardcore, but I was also prescribed Adderall at the same time. She loves inhaling. Oof. Oh yeah. She likes like doing like tricks with the vape smoke. Was Dee Dee a mathematician? It's hard to say. I don't think so. Was Dee Dee like a normal person before she got with Natter or no? Because she was working for C.H. Robinson. Like, she seemed like a normal, just, woman. You know? Not, like, crazy, like, Natter. But she likes wild men. Wild men. Why do people do mathematics? I hear you feel like you have bugs. Yeah, I heard that too. I've never tried it. Never will. So I can't really tell you. But. I mean, I like the Addies. <laughs> but it's not like that. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> I want to get a proof of life from Dee Dee. They streamed two days ago. No, Debbie. Maybe you can hear her. I don't want to hear Natter's voice, but I just want to know if Dee Dee's alive. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Okay, she's she's on there. Dee Dee's on there. She's fine. She's fine. He has two people in the chat. Jill Williams and Mother D. Those are the only people that stick around. And they're not members. 
They're not even members, so. <laughs> Salah. What's Salah doing? He's just like behind the scenes. How many views? 572.4 views. Why is Amber Lynn not posting? I don't know. I mean, we got that proof of life. She's in the laundromat, so she's fine. Um, she said that she was really depressed, remember? But surely she could film something, right? I mean, Amber could do anything. She could just turn on the camera and chat shit. She could order Uber Eats and eat it on camera. She could do anything, really. But she chooses to do nothing. <laughs> Maybe she just needed a break like I did. I don't know. Math is oft often the cheapest. Really? Ooh. I don't do crack. Crack is cheap. I make way too much money. You guys know that one? Oh, Whitney, rest, rest in peace. Yeah, Amber should do a live stream. Yeah, she didn't. She posted a week ago, right? And then I posted just a day after. I was like, this is so late. It was only a day later. That's not really that late. <laughs> I guess for me it is. We're always on it. On. On like Donkey Kong. Okay. Yeah, she could make some money on some live streams. Oh, we do have a Becky update. Did you guys see the Becky update? I forgot about that. I should really write down what I want to talk about in the live streams because there was something else I can't remember. Um, what was it? <clears throat> okay, so the Becky update is that she's sick. So, that's it. Hey, everyone. I'm sorry I was unable to do anything this weekend. I came down with an illness and even had to miss work today. However, I do have a few somethings planned for the near future. Hope everyone's been doing well. So, a lot of everybody's been sick. Like I said in the beginning of the live stream, I was sick last week. My mom is sick. Becky's sick. Everybody's sick. And y'all told me something's going around. Like, well, it's that time. It's that time of year. It's like deep into winter right now. So people are getting sick. And um, even if they're not, like they don't feel like going to work too. That's part of it. So, I want to play hooky. No work. I'm staying home. New variant, really? New variant, who dis? <laughs> Another variant. No, thank you. Schools are closed down? Really? If they have like a lot. Oh, the schools are closed down from illness. Really, where you live. It has to be a lot then, right? For them to close down the school. Do they do, like, uh, remote learning? I would not be able to learn, like, the remote learning COVID bullshit. Mm -mm. I would have flunked out. Like, no wonder the kids are so far behind. Like, how can you learn at home? 
so many distractions. Even doing my YouTube, like, it's kind of hard to keep myself motivated and at the computer and doing the work because there's just so much else I could do, so many distractions. Everything we do in Girl World is remote learning. Yeah. <laughs> Girl World University. You have a 4.0 in college doing remote. Well, good for you. For me, it's like, I'm so distracted. So distracted. Yeah, high school remotely. No, I can't imagine doing it. Like, I would flunk out. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and head off. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, guys. It's good to be back. I will be posting this week again. But maybe not tomorrow. I'm going to try to do something tomorrow. I really want to keep this momentum going. So I'm going to try to do something. We can do this. Let's do this, senpai.